Hi everyone, welcome in to the video. If you're watching this uh, on YouTube, hello, thanks for watching. Welcome. If you're here in the live stream, hello and welcome. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the video of the unedited, uh, fully uh, raw footage I come of from the. I Rough with the excuse the chat. I'm trying to make a good YouTube intro and chat is being rascals. Welcome into the video. Uh, we're going to be playing Alone in the Dark today. The remake, the new release that just came earlier this week. And I'm so excited. So excited. Wee. So, without further ado, feel free to skip ahead if you're watching this on the month and you're like, where's the gameplay? Um, thanks for being here. This is the beauty of streaming live. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you. Um, I don't know too much about the game, other than that it, there was an original game came come out in the 90s, and I I knew about that, but I never played it. Um, and I have decided that I haven't watched any of the trailers to this game. I've been trying to avoid everything because I didn't want to get spoiled, so uh, I'm going in without any knowledge. I do know that it is uh, starring, of course, the one and only um, uh, Yori and David, uh, David Harbour, Har Harbour, Harbour. I also wa always want to say Har Har Harbour, David Harbour. You know David Harbour, Butters, from uh, Stranger Things? He's the Hopper, right? And uh, Yori uh, Comer. Also a uh, famous uh, actress you might have seen in many places. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, I'm just going to launch up the video game and uh, we're going to get right into it and see how it, what happens. Are you ready, chat? You got your, uh, you got your uh, uh, extra pair of pants next to you? This is a scary game, but also good in other ways. Uh, hmm? Yeah. What genres would we say this is? This is? Scary and uh, survival. Horror survival? Wow, the music! Wow, this sounds great already. Ah, well, thank you for watching 10 streams. Thank you. David Harbour is great, I know. I haven't watched a lot with Yoda in it, but um, I know a lot of people are big fans of her as well, so. Thank you so much for all the bits. Thank you. You're a little rascal, Chad, but thank you for the bits so much. Brightness! Welcome in! Speaking of brightness, wow, look! Uh, how does this look for you, chat? What, what say you? What do you think? Looks good? Default settings? Good? Yeah, good? Okay. Awesome. Mm, back. Should I play this on a controller? Do you think a controller is but Has anybody played it? Uh, do you prefer mouse and keyboard or controller? Uh, Michelangelo, thanks for coming by to say hi. Thank you. Have a good day. Play with a dance pad. All right. Wait, Toya has been playing it. Uh, let's turn on subtitles. Yes, medium size. Uh, yeah, probably good. Medium. I played on PS5, so controller was the only choice. Oh, right, that makes sense. My followed list has been full of people playing this, but I've kept out for today. Fabri Milky, you want to do it here first? Thank you. I always think it's such a... It's so... Uh, I'm so honored when people are like, Oh, a new game is out. I'm gonna wait till we play it here. So that you don't get spoiled. So you get to see it here. It makes my heart so happy. Um, okay. I think... Uh, I'm not sure if we need to fix any options. But we'll see, I guess, as we go. We'll see as we go. And maybe we will figure out if we prefer a certain controller. Uh, Unseep, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Right, are you ready? Let me know if the audio is okay as well. And uh, let's jump right into it. <laughs> no scary alerts yet. I would like it to get into the game before it gets a little bit too distracting, okay? 
The creators of Resident Evil directly credit Alone in the Dark as the inspiration for their franchise. <gasps> what? The OG Alone in the Dark series inspired Resident Evil? This is a classic. It set a standard. What does it say here? They're... They're... Hello, excuse me, I was reading. <laughs> they're... Seto. They're Seto? They're Setos. Time. Chats, put on your seatbelts. Here we go. New game. Difficulty. Oh, easy. Standard experience with its intended difficulty. For an extra challenge. Monsters are harder and resources are scarce. Monster? There are monsters? <laughs> See, I, st st I, st I really kept away from this game. Monsters? I guess there's combat. Um, I don't mind playing on hard difficulties. Should we do that? Mostly thinking that they say standard is it intended difficulty. Yeah, right? The menu is spoiling that there is monsters. Um I think I think maybe we should go standard just because they say this is the intended difficulty. I don't mind playing on hard. Uh but for the sake of enjoying the game on the in the intended way. And the difficulty can be switched through the options menu, so we can just change this. If we ever feel like oh no, this is too easy. Guidance, modern for extra help. Provide oh extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Old school for those who want to figure out everything for themselves. No extra systems to guide the player. Ooh, love that this is a choice. Love that this is an option that you can choose. Uh, instinctively, I feel like I want to go old school. I don't like getting too many hints, but do you think I'm going to be too... I think it says the difficulty can be switched to the options menu. Individual systems can be activated and deactivated. Depends on how large the map is, etc. Right. I wouldn't mind old school. Figure stuff out themselves. If there is like puzzling around. It still gives you objectives. Okay, thank you, Otoyo. Yeah, old school it is. Ooh, it's happening. We're old school gamers, apparently. Oi, frog. I come from Ikea land. No. <laughs> Rebecca, you can pause the Ikea land alert. Is this us? We know you will add your own difficulty to the game. That is true. I will probably play it the hardest way. We're a car? Uh, so, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? <gasps> Something like that. It's, it's David! He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? I come from no Ikea land. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed. Jeremy's he her uncle? His last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. 
I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Mr. Carnby! That we're all terrible. What is this taking place? That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Are we investigators? I might have missed a little bit of context. I tried to turn off the alerts. I really am trying to make this not as disruptive. Especially now for the start. Well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Oh, so they don't know each other that well? She said mister. Mm. Hi, Eric. Welcome in. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? Yeah, we know there are monsters from the menu you settings. You might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Hi, Caillou! Welcome! Choose character! It says behind me. Sorry, I've paused both the hydration and the IKEA. Um, because uh, I want uh, at least for... I want us to get a chance to actually get into the game. I get so distracted so easily. Um, I already missed out on a little bit of what they said in the start. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so we get to choose which character we place as. And I'm wondering how much they interact with each other. This is the only thing I knew from like the game uh, as a whole. Uh, that you get to choose what character you play as. In the original, it's the same thing. I guess that's why it... <gasps> Wait a minute, that's why it's called Alone in the Dark. So we don't get to interact that much with each other. That one, yeah, that one! Oh, I... Um... <sighs> yeah, who to play? Uh, I did hear that it is recommended to play through both characters. Like, play through the, the game twice. So that you get to see both, and I would be definitely open to play both characters. Um, the one from TV, yeah, yeah, th that narrows it down. Um, I think it's uh, it definitely makes it um, uh, if it will add to the story to play both of them. Yeah, should we flip a coin, chat? Should we do a coin flip? <laughs> I don't have a coin to flip. Uh, let's play. Okay, can we choose the car? I don't know, actually. Um, is there any character that you have played yourself? Or that a lot of people ha are picking? I'm a big fan of David Harbour. But personally, actually, when I play games myself, I do like to go. Um, if I can choose... Um, maybe the stories are different. Okay. I feel like I would like to maybe start out playing as this person. Yodi, whatever the character's name is. We don't know that yet, I guess. Uh, and then for a second playthrough, we can do go with David. Which was the original. The original was playing as both as well, I think. In the OG game, you could also choose both. Uh, should we go with Yuri just to start first first playthrough? You flipped a coin, it was Tails. Okay. Oh, we should make a dash. We should make that a commando. We can coin flip in chat. That would be great. Um, for the future. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play uh, as Yuri as to start. She's also the first one presented here, so maybe it's good to start with here and then move to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Not spending forever on a character. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very undecisive. Emily Hartward, that is the character. Emily. Okay, let's go. Confirm. Emily <laughs> Hartwood. Support table, I know. <laughs> Emily and what was his name? Hello. 
it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Checked it out. It's a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Are there supposed to be people here? Stay here. I'll have a look. That looks sound is a bit low. Drag it up. Did she just go in alone? In the dark? Oh, 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 wow, oh, wow. Okay, mega sensitive. Okay, immediately want to go and change that. Um, dragging that down a lot. That is still very high. I feel like I don't know a difference. Um, this is still really, really high. <laughs> Am I just very, very sensitive when it comes to sensitivity? Or have I forgotten to... Am I not able... Am I not... I can't, I can't go lower than one. <laughs> Sensitive sensitivity. Okay, this is the lowest we can go. Okay. Maybe I can change my DPI. Now I lowered my DPI as well. I'm getting DC, sorry. <laughs> uh, wow, it's really dark here. But I guess we are in the dark. Um, did did they say when we were when when we were? Based on the car and the clothes and everything, maybe it is a hundred years ago. I was just gonna ask if the DPI was still from climbing. No, I lowered that. Back to normal. Okay, I think we just got done something in our inventory. A uh, long engagement. When I get back, Jon Marius. Marcus? Jon Marcus. 1918. Are we wearing this? Is this our fiance? Jon Marcus. Jeremy's warning. That was the uncle, right? There is Emily. Directo. Oh, that's what it said on the gate, right? Directo? Directo is the prey of evil and now they're all in on it. The staff and the patients are nothing more than mindless cults set to awaken the bio. The bio? What is a bio? I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the dark man. Or the one that... She said that he thought he was followed by. You will also learn that soon enough. Learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity makes it worse for the people I care about. He perfectly staged this world in order to conduct my fall. And I have to fall, Emily. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay as far away from dir Directo as you can. Someday you may understand what I have done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy. Oh no, was this his farewell letter? Wait, <laughs> did he just say stay as far, as far away from the directo as you can? And she's like, hey, do you want to go to uh, the directo house with me, <laughs> David Harbour? <laughs> directo. Oh, there's Seto. Oh, thank you. There's Seto. I said it wrong the whole time. Directo. There. are there keto. There seto. There there keto. That one. <laughs> hey Sammy, what's up? Welcome in. The bayou are the coastal swamps of Louisiana. Oh, we're in Louisiana. Okay, cool. Dear Stemley. Oh. Their seto is the prey of evil. And now they're all in on it. Their seto. The staff and all the patients are nothing more than a mindless cult set to awaken the bayou. I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the dark man. I can turn on the... learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity... It's a voice. It's a voice for the people I care about. It's great. Perfectly stage this world in order to conduct my fall. <gasps> and I have to fall, Emily. Oh, no. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay 
as far away from Deceto as you can. Deceto. Someday you may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. <laughs> Almost as good as. Jeremy Hall. Almost as good as my voice acting. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, this was surprised by her own reckless decision. Emily found herself breaking into Deceto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught. Oh, it continues. But couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. Okay, I'm gonna stop so that they don't talk everything because I do, I do need to read in order to understand, I think. If I listen too much, I will get confused. Look for a way inside the house. Find Jeremy. Wait, I thought he was dead. They think he is here in the house? Lagniapis. What is that? Vagabond. Oh, it's collectibles. Forbidden knowledge. Unlocks the shotgun sh cabinet. Oh, what? It's behind me here. Wow! Shelly, good night! We'll see you! Maybe tomorrow! Goat without horns? I'm not sure what lagin Lagniapis means. He's been institutionalized. Wait, is this the institution? I'm so sorry. I know that he talked stuff in the very start and I got like very... I did zone out because I was trying to... Or not zone out. I was trying to... Uh, uh, turn off the sounds so nobody could make the sounds because you're being little rascals this is a mansion okay this is the mansion of maybe the people who are running the house poofin what's up welcome in fabio wow was oh, this a motor hmm okay oh i have a gun Okay, what does this say? Game rifles. Stones ginger wine. Okay. Any looties? Gunnel, I have goons. Slander. <laughs> Being little rascals. I'm trying to make us able to like start and get into the game before we get too distracted with alerts. Oh, uh, ring. Interactable thing. What's this? Did <laughs> you see anything, Chad? Flashlight. Oh, it's a clue. Oh my gosh, look at that flashlight. It's the ones that... They look like a little camera. And a kitchen garden key. Open. Oh. Is V to switch your flashlight on and off. Oh. Oh, this is much better. Okay. Now you can see. Do you want to see a little more? How do you feel about, like, brightness? Sorry, this takes a little bit of moments to figure out. Video. Video. Very window full screen. Uh, I don't know where how where I was. Can I change that here? Uh, layered brush. Oh, here. Okay. We up it a little. Oh, it blows maybe out a little here. No, it looks fine for you. We just up it a little bit just so that you can see a little more, I think. Compared to what it was before. Okay. Oh, now it's almost too bright. No, is that good? I just want you to be able to see so it's not all dark for you. I think this might be good. It looks different for you than it does on my monitor. But this is good. Lagniapis lanyaps. Oh, it means extras. Extra yaps.
Time for me? Yeah, you can see better. Or is it supposed to be that the flashlight is like all I need to see anything? Oh wait, but it is. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. Are we gonna go through the entire man? Are we not even gonna go inside? <gasps> I mean, go outside and say to Hopper that we are okay? Kitchen garden key. What's up, monster? Yeah, g g g the house is big, I think. Oi, oi, we're having some stutters. What the heck is that sound? Is it the frog from the start? Do you think the frog is a... Curse? A person has cursed? Having a bit of... Oh, I see the motion blur now. Um, Let's turn that down to medium. I don't mind a little bit of motion blur, but maybe not so much. I did read on Steam that people were having some technical issues with it. For the game. So, uh, hopefully it will run smooth as well. Are you having some tearing? Did we turn on the... The... Sinks? V sink. Apple accept. Okay. Hopefully things will look fine. Ka! Ka! Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Chained door. Nothing here. Okay. Ka! Ka! No, wait, that flashlight is LED. I, 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 do you think it's LED, an LED flashlight in the 30s? Oh, this is a beautiful garden. Do some maybe tending to, but, uh,. Right. <gasps> what is that? Oh, do I want to go down there? Hmm. The book it. Oh, we can maybe find something to fish it up with. It should be more yellow than white. Oh, the the bulb. Oh, the oh. The flashlight should be more yellow than than white, you mean? Oh, because it is so white right now. Oh, I get it. I wonder if this is a place where we're gonna come back to later in the game? Can I run? I can run! Oh. We might be coming back here later when we have found, like, other things. Let's go inside. I think this is a game that f would be fine to play with a controller as well, or on console. Are we really going everywhere? Without Hopper? This is kind of pretty. Oh, I kind of like it. Old flashlight weren't like that. I thought it was like you have to do this. Brrr, brrr. Pistol bullets. Okay, supplies. Hopefully that will help us. Yeah, no tech issues on console as well. That is a good thing. Well, I still have to capture it, but yeah. I should probably get us a PlayStation. Dang it. <laughs> We're upgrading a lot. It, did the new PlayStation come out yet? They've built the house around it. Oh, the tree. Wow, look! I didn't even realize that the tree was hanging over all over. Wow! This is the... The wise willow tree. Get all of us... A, yeah, should we get all of us a PlayStation? Giant housekeeper's key? <gasps> 
they must be this must be available for every everywhere <laughs> playstation find there's a great thing about under beats thank you this why pro was rumored to be released the fall of winter this year oh this year should, should, should i wait then maybe i'll wait for that i don't want to get it and then it, like a few months later the pro version comes out wow this is super pretty surely nothing can go wrong in this game chat there's not gonna be any scaries everything is looking way too cozy can we just stay in this house also can i break these surely nobody heard that right Yeah, it was just a rumor, uh, but still. Okay, we can't go up there. We cannot go in there. Dang it. You say Resident Evil was inspired by this game, so I thought maybe I can shoot down this and it will be loot. I have just wasted two of my bullets. Okay. Now, wait a second. Can I go out and open that shed now that I have the the housekeeper's key? It's like the, whoa, the housekeeper's key would definitely lead to this thing. Right, right? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Not even with the housekeeper's key? Apparently not. Not even the housekeeper get, get in there. Cheers! So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Hairless, thank you for lurking. Hi, welcome. All right, we're going here. Ask you risky. Let's go. Oh, got an achievement. We beat the game. Find the front door and let the doctor. What did it say, Barnaby? Is that not the guy from Midsummer? I'll just take this. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just take this. It's not that they're gonna need it or anything. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. Like this is what you do in every game as well. You just find stuff and you just decide to take it. Yeah, I'll just take this. Not that they're gonna need it today. Hi, Eustace. Welcome. Torrential downpour here. Oh no, massive thunderstorm. Stay safe. I am sorry. Hope you can be cozy. Oh. oh. I think they might need to call the pest uh, investigator. Family Bible clue. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. This is... I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. What are they talking to? I have to? started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from batiste and charlotte batiste and charlotte found comfort in the practice of the voodoo i have long been skeptical of that caribbean cult but it's been of good use to me oh no it seems all harmless in my book i see some words dreamt up by the creoles and i carry around a small pocket of gree gree nothing Grigri? of this is mentioned in the bible of course but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She Oop. says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. Okay. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our heavenly father. Oh, it's I'm a so letter to God. The words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. 
Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a Is thousand this... young. It's a letter to you, radioactive. <laughs> Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? <gasps> ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. What? Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now, please, leave my store. A goat without horns. That was entirely cut out of the text. <gasps> so if we listen to it, we will get more info than what the text tells us. A goat without horns. Didn't somebody of you say that in the start of the game? Oh, where was that reading? This one sounds like a Khajiit. <laughs> I'm kind of a... I'm kind of a... Thinking that we need to play them all now? Or is this one just not... Maybe this one was just not in here. Maybe this was just a one-off. Likina, welcome in! Oh, it was in the menu, it said. Okay. Hmm. All right. Back. Okay. Now we have a family Bible. Oh, yeah, it was in the loop, 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 that, that thing. Okay. Emily's doing this all for free? She just wants to answer, yeah. Which, you know, is understandable, but also... Uh, what is it what they say? Curiosity killed the cat? Gotta keep an eye open. This is very... Oh, excuse me. It seems like we're loading new areas sometimes. It's very cozy right now. Which I also always feel in the start of Resident Evil games. <laughs> Like, yeah, this looks like a kind of nice place. Can I get full pocket somehow? Surely nobody ever needs the stuff that is inside here. Bullets. We're getting quite a lot of loot. They did say that if you play on hard, the resources are more scarce. Uh, just go to have a good sleep. Maestro. Wow, that's a good uh, old school stove. For being a... Oh, wait, I turned off the brightness. Maybe that's the reason. I'm gonna say, for being a game... Uh, or for being a kitchen in the 30s? And they're only relying on those tiny little lamps? Pretty impressive, pretty bright. Hello, any loot? Wow. Entire pigs. Just some, yeah, just some bullets in the kitchen cabinet. You know, as per usual. Uh, good night, Disco. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you. That seems to be the most motive for... Oh, motive for most protagonists in horror games. They're either hired or, hired or want answers. Yeah. I mean, it makes for good motivation. Not a lot of people would, like, go through all the trouble of being in scary, weird places like this. Had they not been very motivated by wanting to get answers. Or perhaps a really good paycheck. Is this just a slap of ham? Just realized I was rubbing her fist against it. What is this? Rat poison? Oh my gosh, we found Laginape. Open? <laughs> what? Do I really want to open the rat poison? Sure. Oh! Oh, never mind. Oh, the great, a great depression. It says forbidden knowledge. So behind me here. I can't. Myself. Here. Behind me here, it says forbidden knowledge. And some of these, it says secret objective. But most of them say object. 
forbidden knowledge. So it seems like the collectibles, by getting collectibles, you will be able to gain more info and per possibly this one says in the attic. But there could also potentially be other things we can look like that are um yeah. Cool! We'll keep our eyes open. You know I love collectibles and collecting them. Collecting collectibles. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Emmy, for using your prime sub in here. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Almost a whole entire year. Thank you. <gasps> ah! What was that? Sorry. Excuse me. Like in abyss are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Like in abyss carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both Carnby's and Emily's campaign. See? So we need to go through both of them. Okay. Thank you for subbies. So we have to go through both of the, both of the characters. I didn't even check how long to beat it was, this game. This is where I came from. Oh, well, this is where we came from. Okay. No, don't close the door. Don't close the door. I'm coming. The doors open both ways. <gasps> Clay! Have we been scared yet? Yes. No. Only a little bit. Did this one just open? Did something escape from the oven? Is that what made the sound? Clay, it's so good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Happy. Well, whatever month that is. 29 months! 12 month gifted soup from Fab Maker has reached month 6. Thank you so much. Clay, you are amazing. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate your face. We having a good Saturday. Welcome to us playing uh maybe spoopies. Uh oh. Do I want to go out there? Can I go here first? We have way too many places to go. <gasps> Why does this look like a there should be a thermos in here? <laughs> Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Mr. Chance? Gonna take a look. How long to build this? 10.5 hours for completion display? Oh, really? That's great. Thank you. That's not too much. Maybe we can do it in. Two settings for one character. Uh, zero, so welcome in, Robocop. Hmm. Boiler. Ooh, we probably need to find the two missing pieces here. Can we go past here, or will I hurt myself? <laughs> okay, I guess that answered that question. We we'll go outside instead. <laughs> Hi, Gio! Welcome! <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight! I do have some loading issues. Seems to be stuttering. Can we go home? Yeah, let's just turn back, shall we? That locked? What's that icon? Does that mean it's locked? I don't know if it's a hand? It's a door? Okay. The very big couch. Did I shrink? Oh, we're in the actual house now. I think it's reminding us that she wouldn't last long in an apocalypse. <gasps> we're outside in general. What is this license lander? Marvelous Science, a weekly review of progress in industry, science, invention, and mechanics. Mm. Books are obsolete. What say you, chat? You think books are obsolete? Hmm? 
Oh, barred from the other side. That is a good guess. That is probably what it means. A bar on a door. That's probably it. Yo, Blue and Queenie, thanks for coming by. I hope I can't die in this. I have no idea. We kind of just started it, so I don't know. <laughs> hopefully we cannot. And if we can, hopefully we won't. Okay. Also, hopefully this is a granite colored bathtub and it's not stained with the mysterious red fluids. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, anyone? Oh, oi! The praying room? No, it's somebody's bath bedroom. Bathroom. My me, I'm just gonna take your diary. Lotti, Lotti lives here. Okay. Sunday, June twenty second. Oh. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Eh? Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given Waits. it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around. So the box is just sitting there on my desk. Oh, can I grab they it? must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. Gimmicky keys? I don't remember keys? seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. So I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. Huh? She's showing us, he said. A rot? Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Eh, uh, gulp. So Lottie was also looking for Jeremy. So she knew Jeremy. The person we are looking for. Could be oxidized leftovers from the copper pipes. Yeah, let's hope that's it. If we can shoot stuff, I hope there's someone, something fighting back. Or we would be the baddies. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so too, I guess. Or do I? That means that there is gonna be things that are attacking us. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, locked medicine box. Oh, I don't have the key? Wait, what about the main key? A bit of leakage? Oh yeah, there is. I would like to honestly move the entire thing down a little bit, but I can't... Can't mess too much with it from over here. Okay, it will have to be the way it is right now. Can't undersee? Yeah, it's gone now. Don't worry. Okay, need a key for that. This person did finish their dinners. While reading about the kingfisher. Wow. Let's turn on the light and we won't be alone in the... Uh, uh, we'll be alone in the light? Oh, there's a set of floor plants. Finally, do we have a map now? Oh my gosh, we do. Okay, explored completed. Yo, locked door, bolted door. So that was the sign of a bolted from the other side, I guess. Blocked door. Locked door, blocked door. Door. Uh, if Resident Evil got this from them, I will give this game kudos for being the ones. Because I love in Resident Evil how they have the map where... You you know if you have missed an item. Now we know that we have gotten all of the items here. We don't have to worry about like, oh no, we missed out on stuff. That's really nice. And a piazza key. Piazza. Thanks. Mm, what's this? Can I open this box with it? Piazza key. No. I guess it leads outside to the piazza. Now it's the other way around. Hold I to open the map. The map is updated with information about the world, including locked doors and unsolved puzzles. Right. Map. Yeah, we saw that. Okay. Awesome. Now they are copying Resident Evil Remix. I need the key. This not the one? That's not the key. Okay. What about this key? 
Yes, it goes in here. Alone in the dark inspired Resident Evil 1. Right. Oh, and now we are back here. And we can jump down here. Oh, is that blood? Uh? We can jump down here and maybe go inside of that locker now. Or we just go in here. Hope for the best. We're gonna have to go back and forth a lot. It feels like... Whoa! Resident Evil floor! <laughs> Fancy! Oi, this is a very blue light, you're right. It might be an LED. <laughs> Michael, welcome in! Hi! Thanks for joining! Hello and hello. It was just a little red paint. I need the key. Okay, not in case we have to go there. No sound <laughs> I wanted to give us a chance to get a little bit invested in the game. So, sound alerts are at the moment. Gone. But hello and welcome into Serian. The Picayun Post. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Bergero making their set to her home verified. Prestition on rice, the Great Pr Depression. The Great Depression. Oh. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act Hoover. to protect American labor. Following the collapse of well, the, the Wall 30s? Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has <clears throat> suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left oh, a no. large part of the American workforce unemployed. Oh, no. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete United with cheap States. foreign imports. Did he invite, invent the Hoover? Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see voodoo. increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced Wait, hard Chet, times ever since to read Black this? Thursday of last year, Voodoo doctors and snake charmers see what? significant rise in number of customers. Voodoo doctors? With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John. Cult the southern activity? Shore of train. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During Snake the 19th century, worshipers? its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Snake worshippers. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding it's the news author reporter Cassandra guy. Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital verified. is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at DeSetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author oh, Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately, it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled picture. Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Wow, a movie! Okay, chat, a uh, question. Would you like me to read these texts or do you not mind that there is... Like, do, do you prefer maybe that these people read it? It's in the game? Uh, yous, welcome in! Thanks for joining us! And also River Dragon, good to see you! Blah, 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 blah. I kind of like the game voice acting, yeah? Uh, because for, I wanna, whatever feels uh, best for your chat. You like the voice acting? Okay, yeah, then it feels like uh, they, have ha they, they have had different voices in everything so far. So I don't know if there is uh, a bunch of people in this that would other would otherwise not be getting highlighted. And that's cool. If they've had a bunch of people working on voice acting in this. Kind of nice to give them some... Give them the voices. <laughs> Jordan, I will read the rest. It is all good. You will hear my voice plenty. Okay, where did it come from? From that door? Oh, no! 
Wait, so everything must have happened pretty fast because like the flowers are fresh and candles are still on. Yeah, the voice acting suits the game. Oi. Is that old ruins? Oh, and here is this directo refuge when it was being built. Wow. Some of the Louisiana names are hard to pronounce. For me, most names are hard to pronounce, no matter where they're from. Rubber stamp. Oh, another Laginiape. Lost children. Oh, this is to unlock the shotgun cabinet. Shoo shoo! Shoo shoo! Herbert Hoover was sworn in as president on March 4th, 1929. Yeah, so we are in the 30s. That makes uh, sense. What did she just do? Oh, she put her hand up there. Can I ring this bell? Hello? Hello? Oh. oh, I need the key. Hello? Can I get some service in here? Everything is so lit, but nobody's home. Ding dong! Nobody's home. You even have these little lamps. Wow. Ugh, someone needs to take out the trash. A bit stinky here. Personalin! Is there something hidden behind this? Somebody tossed an old rag. Nobody will see this behind here. Ooh. Brian? No. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's What's a raid! Up? It's a party! Oh, Woo! Party. Woo! Party. Woo. Woo. Party. Yo, Supernotus, welcome in! Thanks so much for joining us! How was your stream? Tell us all about it. Welcome to... Uh, what the heck is going on here? Are they hanging up animals? It's always like... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Um, I hope you had a wonderful stream, Supernotus. Thank you so much for wanting to read us. Escape memoirs. Oh, you have never heard of that. Questionable side stories? Questionable? What kind of game is that? Uh, we're playing this game. Oh no, it's part from the other side. We're playing this game. We kind of just started and um, it's uh, already got me very intrigued. We are uh, running around... Uh, um, running around in an old uh, mansion. Trying to find out what happened to our Uncle Yims. Uh, we cannot go there at all. Yeah, look. I go there, locked door, bolted door. Okay, locked door. What on earth? Where else can we go? Oh, the staircase. <gasps> ah, okie dokies. Running around and looting. There is nothing else to loot in this room, so we didn't miss anything. The bear. Hello, how's it? Cutscene? I thought I did something oopsies. Wait, oh! Go. What? Yeah. Where did you come from? Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. What? McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? He's looking for what you, are Chad. You doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His where did everybody Jeremy come from? <laughs> Huh? What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. Fay Dodo? My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Tercetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. Where did everyone come if you from? Need your information, I will make sure to contact you. Very suspicious. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't <laughs> leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. 
Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Hat. <laughs> Is this when we touch? Never mind. You want to see Jamie's room? Yes, we do. Can you show us? Follow me. Follow me. Where did they all come from? I'm so confused. There was nobody around. I'm gonna touch everything. <laughs> mm. Tammy, I hope you're doing good. Thank you for coming by. Thank you and hello, hello. Thank you. Like the music. Did she just do to us? Strange kid. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Let's look around, see what we can find. Ah, okay, thanks, I guess. Finally, we're reunited with Hopper. Hey, Hopper. Okay, search Jeremy's room. Okay, locked books. Can I drag this around? I need to find the last piece, probably. It's one of these puzzles again. If I find another box, I mean, piece. Yeah, not so alone in the dark after all. I do feel the Resident Evil vibes with the pusselings. And like the vibe overall. I, I can see how this inspired, like the original. Could have inspired the original other one. The original Resident Evil. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. <gasps> counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Oh no. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. James is... Would he have looked the same to my father? Emotions. Struggled for his life. Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I don't I know. I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him. Moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. Is it only at night? I wish I understood your death, Signor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your cell oven? where you may rest, and I shall weep. What does Yimri have drawings of strange symbols in his urinal? Yeah, we're looking for Yimri! Hi, Yimri! Where, why? I'm trying to find you. What? Where, where are you at? Talk about pages. There's five pages. How did you first come to understand the search things, <laughs> Signora? How did you know that a battered boiler in the basement would lead me to the cemetery? It's, isn't it like... Like they never, like it's the same voice acting, right? Or how the old upstairs cloak with its astronomical motives would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. <gasps> David, those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Taruella? I want that more than anything. Please. Let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his body tree. Is that the tree in the other in the other room? Alone in the dark. Tales from the mod basement. <laughs> Is this Yimmer, Yimmer's diary from the basement? <laughs> Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. Thank you. I'm not done yet, but I'm glad you're already feeling like you want to applause. That's why I had to travel to Tonker. Instead, she cruelly told Batiste, my caretaker, that he would betray and killed 
he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear. Ow! And that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Yeah, plus. Okay, oh, and there's different things on the pictures here. Okay, that was a snake there. It is a picture. The people of Deserto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect the evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. Scrolling, I mean, ringing that in. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits. He seems to be a clear thinking man. Maybe Buregard. 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 Cat applauding like when they start. When they start the music during your acceptance speech at the Oscars. You're like, wait, I'm not the... Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no. Sorry, Chad. It keeps on going on and on. Himri wrote a long diary today. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered a dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. <gasps> is he in the dark place? Chad? I think we might be playing Anna Wake 3. And now there was talismans. <gasps> Talisman plates and sockets. Yo, this is probably the key to some of these ones that we need to figure out later on. Patch together. Ooh, okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Should I take a picture of it? Back in the days playing OG, I would have probably uh, painted this one. Oh, we can paint it. <laughs> a painted tile? A painted with a tile. The motive suggests this is being part of a larger picture. Could it be the one on this thing there? Maybe, perhaps? Did you just use your phone to take a picture? Yeah. I know, Yimri is a good sketcher. Can I talk to him? Uh, sure. I found a commonplace book. What's that? A notebook with all kinds of stuff in it. Do you know a place called Tarawea? Never heard of it. Is it close? I have no idea. Just seems like it was a place Jeremy wanted to visit. Hmm. Tarawea. Good to know. Okay, if we ever find a place called Tarawea, we will know Yimri. Yimri might be there. I said, I didn't I call him James? It was not James, it was Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah. Let's put the painted tile in here. And now we can organize them. Uh. Uh. Wow, look at us go! Professional pussy server. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? <laughs> Is this a self-portrait? Reflection. Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? Ah! I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Wait, can we not just take the whole thing? Oh, we cannot shrivel it in our pocket then. Imre is looking a little scared. I Is that out? A tube as well to keep it safe for you. What did you say? Do you want to carry it or should I? 
Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Dr. Gray. Come mm. on, I don't want to be here all night. Hmm. Detective Carnby? W where did... No. Is everyone suddenly gone? Traveling time and place, I mean. Investigate the corner store. The one over there? Hello? What? Hotel Saint George. You know, in the uh, Red Dead, Saint Denis. That's where I feel like we're at now. Uh, is this now different? I can't open this. Yeah, right? Loot, pistol bullets. Uh, I think this looks different than last time. That wasn't what was on the wall. And the statue... No, I'm not sure. It, everything kind of changed. But it's still similar, but it's changed. <laughs> and some sax player? You can hear them, use. Suddenly we are in another house. St. George. Hey, you are yours. <laughs> Since you are. Have we been teleported? Nice Bible fan art. <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah. Bible fan art. We're just in a random apartment now. Hello? The Maccabre Maccabean. The Maccabean nightclub. Come, jo come join us. Every Friday and Saturday night with live bands. What? That's tonight, chat. Baseball Dane game. New Orleans Pelicans versus Memphis Turtles. In Pelican Stadium. Also, we are hiring. Wow, chat, if you want to work at Priggs the Shipping Company as a crane operation operator or a longshore man. You have to be long to do that. Oh! What? I. I'm stuck. I'm. Can I close this door? And I'm, I seem to have... seem to have gotten stuck on the staircase. On the... in the corner here. I'm... <laughs> what is that? Is that what's growling? I've gotten stuck. I am... Stuck it. I can dodge with the space bar. <gasps> Only Hickey could manage this. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was just reading the notices on the side. Oh, I got I got free. 
Okay, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, this does feel a bit like Resident Evil voice. It looks like the most Resident Evil 7 to be fair. Hello? More than one. Oh no! Oh no! It's the it's the it's the creatures! It's the uh, mold man! Oh no! Oh. I am running out of ammo. Wait a second. No. Okay, I'm running out of healing. I mean, of health. Wait, I'm dodging. How many no. attacks do you take? No. Ow! Ow! I'm getting stuck. Oh. Wow, whatever we did, we killed it. Whatever it was. They're just made out of roots. Yinks. How many headshots do they take? I, I, I have no idea. He said the same thing. Ah, uh, that took a lot of headshots. Okay, so I look. it looks like I have five healing items. I don't know how to use them because they are behind me. And look, it looks like a D-pad. We're pressing up would be to heal. Maybe with my key? No. No, that doesn't work. Uh. uh <laughs> How do I? I'm gonna go in here, I think. Controls. Layout. Wait, do they... Do I have a controller connected? I don't have a controller connected. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Keep on. <laughs> hey, oopsies. Um, oh, the numbers, of course. Of course. Okay. No. That was healing. Gee. Um, you know what? I know I can't aim very well with the controller, but I think I'm actually gonna plug one in. Do you think peace or uh PlayStation or Xbox? It looked like there was an Xbox controller on the on the picture. G, G for gluk gluk. -glu <laughs> okay, my controller was a little dusty. Oopsies. Haven't used the Xbox one in a while. Okay, um. Never mind. I didn't order a new. Well, that's why they are not working, I guess. Remember that last time we played with the controller, it didn't work? My my uh, cable stopped working? Yeah, it's the broken one from when we played the... Prince of Persia. Technical difficulties! Okay, this cable works though. This is the cable for my headset. I'm just gonna plug that into the PlayStation controller. And hope that this still works. Beep, 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 beep. Now we need a both a PlayStation and a controller fund? No. <laughs> I, I have to get myself a new uh, Xbox controller because it's broken. Okay. Okay. Aim. And now I can probably use the D-pad. I don't wanna, I don't dare to try to drink in case I drink the only healing I have, but yeah. Uh, hopefully we can still aim somewhat good. Oh no, did you notice this? Oh no. Oh no, wait, no, no! I forgot how bad I am at aiming with a controller! Oh no! 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 Wait, I need to reload! No, 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 we don't need it! We had a controller fun a while ago! Oh. 
goodness gracious. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you for the what hundred pieces. Yeah, what was that? I got done uh, something. How do I see? How do I see my map? Uh. Uh. That one. <laughs> she had Cute. killed the horrid thing. But what was, what was it? it? Yeah. And would there be more? Hmm. Yay! No! Oh. <laughs> Thanks for gifting us some the funds. Wait, PlayStation Portable? Is that what I'm getting? A PSP? Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Do they still sell those? Thank you so much, though. I don't even know if they still find them. Uh, I mean, sell them. Okay. Now the sensitivity is kind of low. I should probably actually up it a little bit because it's hard to move around on a... Hard to move around with a controller. Okay, here we go. Controller time. I can still sprint by pressing this. Okay, good, 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 good. Still got your PSP in a drawer? Oh, I have a zoom button! Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay. Hello, everyone! Anyone home? Anyone anywhere? Stop me and buy one. Can I check the newspaper? Soda? Sparkling soda? Why is no one here? You can get a PSP on eBay for a hundred US dollars? A hundred dollars? It's the trash. For some pistol bullets. I could use that considering I have lost all of them. Potato aiming. Suddenly so much fog. Hickey fog. Daily bulletin. Be. What does it say? Item can be thrown at enemies to or to distract them. Oh. Tap RT RT to quickly to quickly throw it. Hold it to aim. Oh, what? Who am I distracting? I don't think there's anyone here. Uh, are we trying to? What did she say? This can't be. Did she? Did she see like a date or something? The flyer title: Alcohol banned. Wait a minute. It's nighttime, people are sleeping. You think that's it? That's where they're all at? In their beds? At home? Yoni the Conqueror. Oh, look, farmer's market. High aviation. It doesn't seem to say a date anywhere. I don't know if we've traveled through time or only space. No parking. U.S. mail. Hmm. Was the prohibition in the 30s? Bulen. <laughs> oh. Let's take this drink from the trash bin. Surely that's gonna heal us right up. Hmm. So this could be maybe before. We have traveled back in time I a little bit then. Way. Prohibition was in the 20s. <sighs> Trash drink. My favorite. Bling. 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 <laughs> e, 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 e. Can we go in here? Bling. 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 <laughs> uh, okay, there's enemies over there. Maybe I should not go there yet. 
little bullets. Let's go into Yoni the Conqueror's shop. Is that a lamp in there? Hey, Johnny! Johnny! Shoot, maybe I should have investigated the street more. I just thought I would go that way after being in here. Now I realize maybe we will fast travel again. Sorry, I'm a nice person! Don't do it! Emily, is that you? I know Batiste? you. Batiste? How did Batiste? You? I was back at Dorsetto, looking for my Uncle Jeremy. Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? Did he also randomly travel You're still here? still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. You remember my sister Lada, don't you? Yeah, we read their diary. What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm Is familiar real? with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Huh? These streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. <gasps> it's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place Marcus ain't was safe the... for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do when I we got our ring from? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? <gasps> mm -hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. I'm not Thank so you. sure. I'll take a look. Stay safe, Miss. How, can, can we not ask how long this guy has been in here? Yeah, but this was Jeremy's carer. We read about him in a lot of the letters. This key. Okay. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up Mrs. Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to Dersetto. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay. But but how long has Baptiste been in here? I didn't mean to open that. I wanted to pick this up. Yeah, where's Ati? <laughs> Preserve the reptile. Ugh. Like Niyape. Nice. A goat without horns. This one is getting its first collectible. Goat without horns. Okay. Candles. Yes. Yeah, su supplies, herbs. Grease, grease. Did anybody know what grease, grease was? Business. Like, has Batiste been in here for so long that he opened a store? Or did he just find this and was like, oh, I'm still in here? Yeah, pig piggy. Batiste, how long have you been here? Are you staying here? For a while. Wanna see if Jeremy shows up. Of course, we have to go alone in the dark. Oh, can I talk to him more? Your sister. She also works at Dorsetto? Yeah, she the one who got his job. It's a magical item, a voodoo talisman. Okay. Be careful, okay? You said it, miss. I forgot to exhaust the dialogue with the uh, Hopper earlier. Shoot, I shouldn't keep calling you Hopper. I just keep forgetting his name. Uh, David. No. <laughs> Yo's fabrics. Man, it's quality materials. 
Banana Kibana, welcome in. Hello. I can't open that. Well, that is the name of the game. Do we really have to, though? And I see you to shine the flashlight in his eyes. Listen. It's a bit inconveniently placed, but... What is that sound? Oh, this is what, what the door we tried to unlock, but we couldn't. Bullets. And a pipe! <gasps> a weapon? Malie? What's this? Oh. Oh. Uh, can I go past you, please? How do I swap my weapon? How do I swap? How do I? How do I swap weapon? Oh my gosh! <laughs> my weapon broke. No! Really? I thought it would last forever. My weapon broke. I was so excited for like 10 seconds about having a melee weapon. So much for that. No! That was so... I would prefer melee. That was nicer than trying to aim with a controller. I hope we get some more weapons. I mean melee. I was so excited finally melee build. What on earth is that? That. Can I shoot this down? No. I have no idea what this is. What? Wait for green light. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna shoot some. I don't know where it said is. Hopefully there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How many people are this? Were you friendly? Should I not have shot it? Did I do an oopsie? Wait, I'm reloading! Oh my gosh, it's kicking! Oh, this is to throw for distraction. Oh, maybe I should have done that. So much for my stealthy playthrough. A lot of distractible objects laying around here. Bling, bling. I wish you could just pick up a bike. Yeah, like in Yakuza. <laughs> Swing that around. <gasps> Croissant! Welcome! Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be shooting so many bullets. I do not have a lot. I should probably stealth a little more. Considering the game is giving us like a billion stealthy items. Let me distract items. Hmm... Where's the shop we were trying to find? Can I get more bullets, please? So I only get two bullets from looting it. Not super great. Why not just get into that car and run off? Yeah, right? Imagine that could have saved us a lot of weaponry. Bassin Street. Also, we're coming, Ray. Perry Doe Street. And we cannot go to Hotel St. George yet. So many distractible items. No more IKEA alert. I, I turned it off because people were being rascals in the start of the stream. And I was trying to make the... Yay! Yay! We can at least do more Im immersive. L5, hi! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Welcome in. Hi. Rascals are the worst. Yeah, I can't believe you're triggering alerts, chat. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, five. Thank you for gifting five subs. What an, en what an entrance. Need an experienced babysitter. Okay. Uh, you know who to call, chat. <gasps> this is where we came from! Yay! Oh my gosh. Haxu, thank you for gifting a soup to Little Rascals. You're gifting a soup to all of chat? 
that we officially have a hatchet. I'm so stoked. We have an axe! An axe! And my axe! Literally! We're, we're on. This is what we all use in every game we play. If there is an axe, this is our... This is our go-to weapon. I'm kind of sad because it's probably gonna break. But for the duration of one fight, we will be able to fight... With an axe. Why can I play this? Is it a secret maybe at some point? I can't go that way. Sorry, I was just trying. <laughs> na 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 um, excuse you. <gasps> Maria! Excuse you? You just made it to the 5 C. I cannot believe it. Thank you so much for coming by, Maria. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you for subbing for 69 months. Thank you. Welcome in! Happy Saturday! I presume you have been playing this game as well. What is the case? Okay, let's go in here. I'm gonna go over it. Hello? Hello? Is that a dog? Do you hear it? Roof, 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 roof. Roof, 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 roof. Oh god. <laughs> that already had a high drain. Thank you so much for the beats. Thank you, Dr. Corey. Thank you, Crusoe. Yeah, you hear this? You hear that? Is that a dog? Or is it an infected... Wait, are these candles? Cat, there is a cult here. There's a cult here. There is candles. Yeah, they, it's day one! We picked oh. the... We picked the, uh, to start with Emily. So we're just getting started. Thank you for the beat! Thank you so much for getting yourself tickets. Oh, you didn't mean to stop in the- Oh, no. Oh, we gotta watch these shows. Uh, I, I think we're up to some cool activity here. There's a dagger. There's a mysterious red soup with the intestines sticking out. I don't know about you, chat, but I think this is what cults do. Which we don't do here. No, no hecky see in chat. This is cult activity. This is not what's happening here. We only have club activities. Uh, school leader, thank you for the beats. Thank you, Croissant. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I was later joined and asked Hecky to restart, but was the night. Well, you joined us right at the start. Oh no, oh no. Wait a minute. Do they even see me? Maybe I can crouch and they won't be able to see. Maybe it's like a. Maybe it is like clickers. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa! Close up! I'm using a little too many bullets, I feel like. But I'm thinking that maybe I can actually sneak? How do I sneak? Like this. Maybe they won't notice that if, if we sneak and that's we like throw items around? Soggy socks. Yeah, we were gonna play- exactly. We were gonna play this game- we were gonna start this on Wednesday because um, it came out then. But then my monitor died. I couldn't stream at all. Uh... I, excuse me. <laughs> and then I didn't start it on Thursday. Okay, got him. Uh, so we started it today. It feels like a good like weekend thing also to do. You think the monsters just want some hooks? Ella Scrolls, hi! Thank you for coming in! I don't know. Uh... L5, do you do you wanna come and give them a hug? You feel up for the task of uh, befriending the monsters? I can hear them go. 
They're very close. Are they upstairs? coming in <gasps> oh so i don't think they can hear me right i think these they are can i sneak attack i wonder ah! take an axe to the face okay that went well what are you made out of I think. Why am I hearing something? Ah! He's swinging his extra legs around. Bro, I don't have a complete. Hey. Can you? Oh. Not the yay! I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. Did my axe break? My axe broke. Oh my gosh. I think I was supposed to sneak. I think I'm supposed to be stealthy. The game is trying to tell me that I'm supposed to be stealthy. Do you? Is that in flying in there? Uh, <laughs> Reggie Corey, thank you for gifting four subs into the chat. <laughs> Sorry for the bad timing. How dare you celebrate and say yay when I'm getting wrecked? It's okay. Thank you so much for the. <laughs> thank you for the four gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm impressed you're playing with the controller. Yeah, so Maria, I, I struggled a little bit with the, the keyboard and mouse. Uh, with like understanding, the, uh, I don't know, the overlay said like a D-pad up to heel and I didn't know and I then I pressed G. Uh, I just decided to play with the controller and see if it just works and I think actually this is working good. It's hard to aim but, but the rest of it is actually, this game is, um, it is uh, controller friendly I think. The Crescent City, okay. Crescent City, we now have a UU in here. I don't know what a UU is. Maybe some sort of... Uh, um, item to work with the voodoo stuff. Yeah, I can't aim. I'm losing I'm all of my bullets. As you can see, I have three bullets left. Huh. <laughs> I opted for the controller about 15 minutes ago, but she's a terrible shot. <gasps> what? You're supposed to hype me up and say, Heggy, you're doing great. Don't try. <laughs> I might be out of bullets, but it's okay. Did you calling me out? What's going on? Um, Derek Sean also, thank you for being here. Maybe I should heal. See, healing is much easier with a controller. You just press upwards, D-pad. And like switching, because it looked like this. It looks like this, right? The D-pad is there. And on keyboard and mouse, it still was a D-pad. So I don't know how to like swap between when we get more items in there. I wouldn't know if G was healing. Then I don't know how to get like to the other directions. So I just thought this would be maybe good in the long run. It's working out fine, except for me, you know. Losing bullets. We're fine. Other than that. Hey, you're doing great. You have more than zero bullets left. <laughs> Thank you, Farmer Maker. I know, right? I have more than zero bullets. Could be worse. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Oh. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Cozy. Are these coffins? Hmm, maybe not so cozy anymore. Oh, talisman! Oh no, I should have explored the room. Exactly like Jeremy's talisman. I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> uh, in between there are doors, huh? Mr. Door? Talisman clue. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. <gasps> Maybe it's like a caledoidoscope? <laughs> caledoidoscope? Those things? 
these things? Maybe we can see if we do the lighting. Yeah, that one. Kale Kale Kaleidos. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Kale <laughs> Kale Kaleidoscope. That one. Kaleidoscope. 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 That one. <laughs> Yapping. Okay, we can place it in there. Wait, let me look around the room. Maybe I can, like, pick something up. I've just broken into somebody's apartment and just taking stuff. Okay, listen up. <laughs> Could this cult be somehow involved uh, of, uh, you know, the the, um, the cult of the forest? Cult of the tree, I mean? Could that be it? The cult of the tree? I think it's meant to hold the talisman. I think so, too. Oh! 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 One, two... I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Can I change rings? And Uh... Yeah, we should probably use... His, um... His notes because we found uh, a picture of it. I'm just guessing right now. Okay, let me look at what we found from him. Thank you for the hype train, everybody! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't really give you a hard time. I can't say it either. See? Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Kalei? Kalei. Doscope. Um, that was here, the common place. Here. Three, five. Look, they have rings in the top left one. They have ringed in things. Talisman plates and sockets. Um, three, five. Eight. I... Is that really the one? 358 is ringed in. And then there's the little... Next to it. 358. Okay, how is, is that going to happen somehow? 358. Where are the ones? Oh, they need to line up in that direction, maybe? Oh, this is what I get for putting the old school thing on, eh? Five. Oh! Three, five, one, two, three, four, five. Three. Well, that won't work, will it? I feel like we need to have this one like that. Five. What? <laughs> Three, five, eight. Ba -na -na -na. You hear this music every time we move something around too? Two, four. Good. 
Let's look at this one again. Nay, hey, not that one. So this is the whole point with this stuff. To like try to figure out the pusses, right? It's kind of okay to play with no hints. Okay, picture of it. So on this picture, it doesn't look like any of the rings are lining up. It also looks as if the round thing might be... I took a picture already, but I didn't take it so close. It also looks like it's not... Oh, the outer ring, the three, is the one that is... On the outer ring. Oh, wait, is that the one that is already there? Yeah, you see the three is ringed in there. Oh, it's the outer layer, the three layers that are already there. You see that? Like, what we have on the picture is that thing. You see? Three, five, eight. It is ringed in. It's already circled, I mean. And on the picture we got... The, the thing that we are working on is in there, and it's just a spiral. Maybe I looked at the wrong notes. Something about... Oh, oh wait, maybe this one. Talisman with black sunstone, an ancient navigational tool found and inside a chenier along the Bayo Tonker. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said of unleashed a vagabond the devil that massacred its finders. No, is that how we let loose the spirit? Three numbers need to span a bridge between the escapes of a dream and memory, noting, according to Sturm. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. What? It's the same thing again. Three, five, eight. Three, two, one. Let's say three, two, one there. Where? I, I, I won't be able to. Re I think. Do you think I'm supposed to? <laughs> so confusing. Three, two, one. One, two. But I can't move them around in the right order otherwise. Eh? In? Would this have been easier if I didn't go old school? What on earth? Why would they not line up like that? Fear. I'm trying to figure out if this has something to do with the sounds that can help us too. Do you hear that there's sounds? I feel you, I spent a lot longer on this than I should have. Oh, is it easy? I do like the click sound. But there's like this little note also that bling, bling, bling. Did you play with the old school? Elish? Bing. 
What you say? What you say? Talisman? Asabla, good night! Have a good time! Three numbers needed to span a bridge between. Three numbers needed. Oh, look! Here the other numbers are circling. One, two, three. One is down. I I don't I don't I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. One down. Two down. Good. Three down. But they're not lining up if I put them all down. Right? Isn't this... Then it becomes all sideways over here. <laughs> hmm. I, I, am I getting tricked by it's going sideways? Wait, is there a certain way that this is... Where is pointing up? Three, five, eight. Why is this so confusing? Here is three, five, eight. And that's what he said too. Hi, Los Pichupin. Welcome in. That's what it says here too. Three, five, eight. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Yeah. Three, five, eight. And then he's still ringing in one, two, three. Three? Is three supposed to be on the small one? Three, five, eight. Three on the small one. But, 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 but. Oh, that one is up then. Five. Hi, three. There. Why isn't it working? <laughs> I'm being a dingus chat. Why don't I get it? Carry the four, divide by three, ah, and then multiplicative factor, yes, yes, mm -hmm. I, 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 that's what my brain is saying right now, too, yep, I totally got this un under control. Why don't I get it? Yeah, why don't I get it? Why is it so hard? I don't understand. One is down. No. Wait a minute. The three needs to be downwards. The two need the five needs to be on the side. Is that it? Alright, I need to take a picture of this. I have I have no visualization memory whatsoever. So I can't like I can't remember things. Okay, three, five, eight. Let's try this one more time. So the eight is supposed to be in that direction. I'm so sorry, I hiccuped while I burped. Um, five should be sideways that direction. And three should be down. <laughs> Why aren't you working? Stop it! <laughs> three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. Why? Three, five, eight, eight. What's confusing is that. Oh no, that wasn't three. 
Why is this not working? Chat! Why is this not working? I look at the picture. 3 billion? I know the inflation has been ridiculous. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between. You mean the bridge inside the talisman? Not where I want it to, to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. I have confusions. The thing is that on the picture, they also look like the crescents are picking, pointing upwards, right? Like that. One. But see, this cannot be eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're positioned in different places than on the picture. The small one. I'm going wild. Let her cook. <laughs> I am so confused. Yeah, let her figure out how to cook while spoiling the game. Wait a minute. I'm gonna be cooking. Here's where I lose complete patience and go to Google. I never Google in games, but sometimes that costs me like an hour of trying to figure out puzzles. But I'm stubborn. Three numbers needed. Three, five, eight. But three, I'm still confused because three, five, eight is what's in the big circle around us. Three, five, eight. Three. Three is not even there. There's two and four on the like outer rim. She never Google, but she had her mom print sheets from the internet. Listen, that was from Pokemon on Game Boy. Okay. <laughs> it looks like you started to draw an eight, but stopped. Looks like I started to draw an eight. You draw an eight. Like trying, this is like being a zoomer trying to use a rotary phone. <laughs> like used her mom to cheat. Listen, she, I, I, I was playing Pokemon on Game Boy and I didn't understand because it's a freaking game in English and I'm Swedish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Figure eight. Two circles. Wait, how does everyone figure write out eight? Figure eight or two circles? Oh. Yeah, I do a figure eight as well. I think that's the most common. Maybe? I grew up figure eight and switched randomly to two circles and I hit it. <gasps> what? You just changed? That's very interesting. I wonder, like, did you just do it one time and then, then your, your, your hand memory just started memorizing that instead? I'm being such a confused. What? Why, why, why is this? Why is there questions? Am I supposed to, can I just line them up? Maybe I can line up the, um, those things. The lines. 
Wait, no, the lines line up. Oh, okay, never mind. Shoot. Chat, <laughs> I'm clueless. I am clueless. What am I missing? It's through the numbers needed to span a bridge between the schemes of dream and memory. One, two, three. Why, why is the one, two, three circled here? And why? Because look, can I use my mouse here? I can't. Do you see that like in the one here? Like, look, look, I need to educate. In the one here, that in this one, it says one and then two and then three is over there and then four is over there. So like the numbers on this wheel don't even line up with the numbers on the small wheel that is in the puzzle. Right? For some reason. Yeah, I know they have circles. One, two, three. One, two, three has circles. And then we have a number three, five, eight. And we know that three, five, eight is circled around on this big thing. You see that? Three, five, eight. Hmm, and three plus five equals eight. Am I supposed to do maths? I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. I am looking in Jeremy's notes. I, I also looked in his commonplace book. Okay, maybe there's more in here that we missed. I might, I might be making this harder for myself than, I, than it should be. This is the only thing that measures the dang talisman. Three, five, eight. It's placed in that direction, sideways. David and Checha, what's up? Not maths, just one math. Just, is it just one math? Why is it sideways like that? Does that have anything to do with it? You can look at the talisman. No, it's the same that it's always been. A door mat? Why do I even want to use this? It's gonna release an old vagabond devil. That doesn't sound great, does it? Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. I, it might be interesting to talk to you, you're right. I am still confused. No, I don't know. I don't know. Do they need to match the outer rings? Three, five, eight. There's not even a five on this one. Kikala, welcome! Hi! Chat is tearing their hair out, trying to watch me figure out how to solve this puzzle. Trying to see if it has anything to do with the sounds. Dum dum, dum dum, beep. It goes beep on eight sometimes. Could that be right? That's right. There. That must be it. <laughs> That's not it. Oh no. I'm content to just let you struggle and overthink. So so you saying I'm making it harder than it should be. It is really squeaky, yeah. One, two, three. 
What was the other number? Three... Five, eight. Three... Three... Five... Eight. <laughs> Give me. That's not the rotating that take his brain trying to think. Yes, that is the squeaking noises. Okay, we should point them downwards. Three. 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 Five. Eight. Okay. Does anybody have... What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Wow, Chad, I can't believe you can figure it out. I totally figured it out all on my set on my own. I did. Yep, that was completely on, on my way. <laughs> so, I knew that all along. And um, there you have it. Uh, anyway, didn't we see something there? Shoot, that means what she said. <gasps> the door is open. What did she see? What's that by the something? Yeah, back to gameplay. I got it, chat. Welcome back. Anybody who fast forwarded through the vote until the moment I uh, solved it. I solved it uh, by being smart. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. What? Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. What? It's Mr. Gray? You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? Thank you, we Maria. You Thank you. <laughs> in the garden district when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. Uh, no, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh. Well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. Huh? On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. Wow. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Kind of rude. Very astute. Is that supposed to make Come you from seem a joyless family? Or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Yeah. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. Yeah. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy yeah, why is, is he... To leave with you. I won't object. However, so there weird. is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. <gasps> what? Do you know where he could have gone? No. I think we suspected I that. I Everyone is looking for, him. looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Your staff is stuck in his if he brain that you palace. Are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, mm. let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any know. truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? 
Why would you ask that? Uh... Can we ever be sure? Oh no, wait. If the dark man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy... I don't think we should trust this guy. I assure no, Emily, you, don't get this guy... You oh no, this guy is gonna... Is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place yeah, he's in the hospital. It's kind of low cuisine. <gasps> we still I, have the talisman. I'm leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. So we have the talisman, even though we were here. Did we just travel through? Where did the, our friend go? Chapter two. We made it to the first chapter. Tutorial is done, Chad. Yay! Yeah, he was like, here, have a drink. Never mind. <laughs> Carnaby. Carnaby. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. So tell him the truth. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. Oh, no, he no, doesn't know. I don't know what's happening. Like, this is a very stressful situation for you. I understand. Oh, no. Ugh, no, you don't understand. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Every day they do. Down, you the don't plane. understand. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to okay. stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? <laughs> That's <me> great. <laughs> just, you do you. <laughs> That's great. I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, sure. <laughs> oh no, Chad! I don't know if this guy believes us. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> if a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Yeah. Like the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. I like that we're so open to this happening. We're like, yep, yeah, we're just traveling between the realities. <laughs> Cece's! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Wait a minute for six months in advance? Thank you, Cece's, for assuming for six months in advance. 71 months in total thank you so much thank you for coming by i appreciate it thank you so much i hope you're having a lovely evening thank you for coming by sissies thank you um <laughs> thank you timing it so the resub happens is sub in september uh oh yeah that must be the case wait but then mine should happen now too i have a six month resub to sissies and I guess that must be expiring now then. And then I can renew it in September. It's so good because the year is 12 months. So if you do six months in September, you can do it six months again the next September, even if you keep it going. I'm setting all my subs to new six month long subs in March just for that. <laughs> well, I hope they don't remove the September discounts. Uh, Zoe, thank you so much for coming by. Enjoy the gifted soup. Thank you, Treasure Corey, for sending out gift soups. Gift soups. And uh, um, enjoy the emotes, Zoe. Good vibes and uh, popcorn are now in yours. Bling, bling. Wait, so where was his office? That was in here. No. Where were we just? Oh yeah, we were over the no. What? All of a sudden we are alone again. Oh no! Arrival of Union Captain JW Norton. They burnt the house. No. What an arrival. And here we have Indigo and Periku Pla PlayStation Der Seto. Alone, but not quite yet in the dark. Yeah, it, it's uh, 
we have met some enemies, yeah, but they haven't been scary. It's been like, um, like just like kind of uh, the last of us kind of maybe that kind of vibes so far. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Am I obsolete items have been archived? Oh. Family Bible sabotage? Why are they obsolete? Or like I don't need them anymore in my investigation? <gasps> but I barely used him. Oh no. Disp Disp okay, reception. Doctor, bolt the door in the doctor's office. Cleric's office. Okay, we can go in here now. A note. Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. <gasps> they have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. Yeah. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. <gasps> right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. The well? Oh, that's the one we looked down into and we were like, yo, there's something down there. That looked like a piece of a puzzle. Room key number six. Okay. Maybe they could archive when you did the puzzle. It may be. Did you lose the substring? Did you, Sassies? I do not know. It still says 71 on the sub. 71 months. It, if you are on a streak, it, sh it should say in your subscription tab, right? If you go to the subscription page. Just like, you have this many months in total and this many months on a streak. Staff and patient directory. Dr. L. Morley Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Okay. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. By me? Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. That's the key to Jean Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Right. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be Yuck. seen in the conservatory, but is for the most part busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dosetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live of on the course. second floor. And then Charlotte Taboui. Stav. Okay. And we found the key to number six, Elisabetta. Elisabetta. I was just in time. Renewal is tomorrow. Yay! The streak is going! Heck yeah. Thank you, Ceci, so much for all the months you've been subbed for. It's nice to see you, Poppin. Thank you so much. Also, Elana! Hello! Thank you for also coming by. Need to cook for a bit. Use bone apple teeth. Enjoy. Thank you for coming by. It was good seeing you. I saw some dude on stream get to a hundred months. Never seen that before. Yeah, some streams have been partnered for a long time and they have more than a hundred months. In fact, I think I'm reaching a hundred months on my... On the stream that I have been subscribed to the longest ever. Like, where I first ever put a subscription. I am hitting... Oh, never mind. I already hit it. Well, <laughs> I'm on a hundred and four months. A hundred and four? <gasps> and about 99 at Chloe's. Wow. Wow. Hey, this is some long time soups. How about 96? So you also you did your first ever soup in 2015 early. Nice to hear you pooping. No, pop in. <laughs> Repairing the boiler. Saw you notice in the boiler room. Mm -hmm. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. A valve from the wine cellar. 
to go to the boiler room. That's good to know. From the va from the wine cellar to the boiler room. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to recognize the voices because then we would know who wrote what. But I do not recognize them yet. Ooh, looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be opening this. Uh, watch me. Uh, I'll do it later, chat. It looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be opening this. I'll do it later at some other point. Yeah. Not just right now. It looks sturdy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be opening this. I'm trying to pick up these patient records. Hey, Dupli man, what's up? Welcome in. Thanks for joining the stream. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Uh, patient files. Patient records. Cassandra Buregard. Okay. Room number eight. This is... Wasn't this the person who bought the place? Maybe. No. Reason for admission. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and need to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Chad, it's, it's Alan. Writer's block. Next thing we know it, Mr... Um, what, Mr. What's his name? The one who was. Uh... Yeah, we're playing Alan Week 3, definitely. Shoot, what was his name? The guy who was in charge of the. Um... Good night, I hope you feel bad. No, <laughs> not Scratch. I mean the guy who was in charge of uh, the, the therapist that we met. Good night, Michael. Take care of yourself. Night night. Good seeing you. To come by. Maybe see you tomorrow. Um, Mr. Shardo suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbecues. Barbecue. Barbecues. Is holding her back and risks ruining her career. Wait, Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates? What is that? Dr. Evil Hartman? Croissant, thank you. <laughs> exactly. Maybe he's here. Dr. Hartman is here. Hmm? Hmm? And you're in the soup, but uh, Good vibes and popcorns are yours for a month. Personal history. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping out a balcony. Oh no, the incident left her crippled. Now she relies heavily on her wheelchair. Uh, does anybody know what barbiturates is? Uh, I still don't get that part. Okay, this is not so great. Uh, diagnostic impressions. Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administered morphine to keep her... <gasps> morphine, is that what it is? Sedatives, okay. Barbiturates is morphine. Okay. Uh, to keep herself ambulant. What's that mean? Running words today. Um, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. Oh no. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she's unable to focus on real life. To save herself from the inside, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Okay, treatment plan. First of all, she needs to be weaned off of her drug addiction and hope it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in the back through surgery. Finally deal with the social thoughts. Wait, that's the last thing to deal with? Date of admission, March 15, 1930. Okay. And they said five... No. Do we know how long they've been in here? Doesn't say. I, we still don't know what day it is right now, I guess. Uh, Grace Saunders. 11 years old? Oh yeah, that's the kid who, who helped us. Maybe. 
That's the... The key to help us find the room, right? Responsible party, Mrs. Gabriela Saunders' mother. Oh, literary agent, Frank Chardot. Perry! Okay. Uh, the mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversation... Perver Perversation of Grace's adolescent. Wait a minute, can I make them read this? I can't pr pronounce these words. Okay, there's nothing to play here. Personal history. Fam Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with pri private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her the mother the sole caregiver. Diagnostic impression. Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Treatment plan. Grace needs uh, nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Little admission 1928. Eight. Two years before Cassandra. So we know that it's at least 1930. Maybe. Speaking of Alan Wake, they've said that they don't we don't have to wait 13 years for the third game. Yay! Wait, that's really good news actually. Because I know that they are gonna be working on Control 2 before that and the, the Max Pen remix, so I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, hecky blah 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 blah, hecky talk. Malcolm McCarthy. Number one. Is that the one we saw at the very beginning? Like when we when people start first first started a, arriving. McCarthy admitted himself to Der Seto, stating simply that he needed some dang rest. <laughs> McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mis mystery except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Hmm. McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half truths due to some deep sedated inability to trust other people. Treatment plan. McCarthy would take some time to open up. Spending time with ja Jack's dog? Or the child should be good for him. Their harmless, mature nature will help build his sense of trust. Okay. Jack's dog. We haven't found dog. We haven't fo even found Jack. They do the mission. Okay. 1929. Elisabetta. This is the room key we have. Have we seen her? I don't think we've seen her. Hmm. Awesome, just not used to it. Feel right at home already. Your community seems awesome. Lovely man. I'm so happy you feel that way. The community is very great. People are awesome. Um, oh, what's up with the warm welcome? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of greetings coming into chat. Um, chat is hacking great. Thank you, chat, for being so welcoming to all the new people who come into chat. Thank you. Yeah, pet the chat. Indeed. Very welcoming, making people feel feel like they can arrive in here and be and be welcomed in. Put the chat. Elisabetta Perosi, age thirty-three question mark. From Italy. Oh. Hmm. Perosi broke into the certo and was found wandering the Grand Parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her, say, for her stay. Oh. Personal history. Perosi claims to have been a member of the Archstead As Astarte Artist Colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue, deliberately or so. S deliberately so or not. <gasps> Did she travel in time? Diagnostic impressions. Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Peros Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s during the time <gasps> and then she disappeared question mark dun 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 
Treatment plan. I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during oh, a oh, hurricane. It's a, it's a party. Oh, Woo. Party. Woo. Party. That's it. What is going on? Uh, readers, welcome in. Hello, Asamia. Welcome in. Mental skinny. Hello, domestic. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Sarah. Vinci, <laughs> hello. Welcome in. Savage, welcome. Rogue, hello. Thank you, everybody, for reading in. Thank you. Starlet. <laughs> Adoris Mist, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Thanks for reading. Hi. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hello. If we haven't met before, Hello, you can call me Hickey. I'm from Sweden. We are a variety channel, playing lots of different games. Today we're playing a game called Alone in the Dark. The new game that came out earlier this uh, week. When I say a new game, it's a remake of the OG game from the 90s. And so far it is gotten me pretty dang hooked. This is great. Thanks so much for reading in everybody. Hope you had a wonderful stream. This is where I'm streaming now. It's our couple channel. Yeah, I remember. I, I recall. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Recalling. Um, Yay! Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you. Indigo, thank you also for gifting a sub to Domestic Bliss. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, anybody who was familiar and was watching Starlet, uh, they're now streaming on, uh, on this channel together. A couple channel. Streaming together. If you want to co continue following along. Following along the startup adventures in the community. Go like, comment, subscribe. Do now. Do now, chat. Do now. Uh, thank you so much for coming over. Thank you for reading us. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful uh, time playing. Dun, 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 dun. Shinkansen Zero? I never played that one. But I hope it was a wonderful time. Um, as a, also, if anybody, if you need to read and run, I, I don't want to blab too much. If you got a read and run, thank you for coming over. Thank you so much. Uh, please take care of yourself if you need to do a post stream uh, self care. Uh, if you want to hang around, uh, feel free to join us. View discretion is advised. This is a horror game ish, but like it's not that scary right now. It's more, I feel like. So far, it's uh, it's more about uh, the investigation, mystery. Maybe it's not horror horror. Uh, there's a little bit of like enemy that feels like in the style of maybe The Last of Us kind of. But uh, yeah, yeah, yet. I don't know. Maybe there's scaries to come. <laughs> but um, so far, so good. Very interesting. Oh, you played... Uh, that's a horror game too? She counts as hero? Well, I hope it was good. I hope you got scaries. Um... Thank you so much for thinking about us and for wanting to bring your people in. Thank you. If anybody's reading and running, thank you, take care. Thank you for coming by to say hi. Also, uh, if you want to stick around, feel free to grab a seat. Skål. We're reading about the people in here. In this mansion, the people who have come here to be on a retreat or to be here on treatment. Uh, but there is mysterious things happening. Oh, spot the difference! Interesting. Yeah, we played a game called... Um, I'm, almost, oh, I'm on Observation Duty. That was similar. Or was also that kind of game. Very fun. I think it's fun when uh, to let uh, chat join in on that as well. Um, also, spoiler uh, alert if anybody... Well, we are kind of in the start of the game, but still. Spoiler alert if anybody uh, doesn't want spoilers for this game. Uh, because maybe you want to play it for yourself. Highly recommend it. It's already really, really good. Uh, we're just reading some patient files here about uh, Elizabeth, who might have traveled in time? Question mark. She claimed to be called Elizabeth per Perosi, Elisabetta Perosi, coming from a group of people who disappeared fifteen years ago during a hurricane. I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night, September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what the spell of impersonation could have been. Date of admission, November 20, 1927. So this could definitely be that this person... I don't know, can you get swept up in a hurricane and then just like plop down again times later? Is that how time travel works? Hmm... Like on a train, it's new. Wait, really? I'll have to look it up. Thank you so much. I love horror games. I'll have to write it down. A zero. Hmm. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening also. 
you are heading out to uh, take care to take care of uh, needs. Uh, and if not, of course, you're welcome to stay. We love having you. Thanks for coming by. That's how Einstein created tra time travel. Okay. Ow. Through hurricane jumping. That makes sense. Okay. The last patient is Ruth. Age 29. Uh, her father. Okay. Ruth's father wishes that his daughter is removed from New Orleans nightlife. For the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Shaking my head, my head. Personal history. Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France, during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a... The Baukchid Flapper, bordering on Nymphomaniac. Nymphomaniac? I have no idea what these words mean, chat. We are learning English. Wait, did I say something bad? The Baukchid, as in the Bauchery. What is, what is the Bauchery? <laughs> Hey, have a wonderful rest of your night, Domestic, please. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful time. Um, you just got stuck in auto mode for writing the word in the... in the... here. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> sorry if I said uh, inappropriate words. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this means. Diagnostic impressions. Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She's refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration and after returning back to the States. She's admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. Or is that why it got flagged? Is it wink wonk? Why are you all getting stuck in auto mode? <laughs> okay. Treatment plan. Simply stay, staying at their seto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change. But with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them. But at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Okay. Well, luckily, they seem to be... A little more, uh, what's it called? Dr. Gray might be not s still allow. Yeah. Atomod is going over heat. <gasps> I haven't had to allow, ter allow terms this much in any stream. Yeah, but we did have to up Automod to, qu to qualify occasions. Maybe that's why. Indulgent in sexual things? Okay. The bow sherry. Okay. Alright. Interesting. It's all the patient files except for Jeremy's. Yeah, where was Jeremy? Did they take that away? Hey. Roars. Roars shash. <laughs> Dad, I'm learning English in this stream. Roars shash. Lagniape. If I saw this screenshot alone, I would think that I was playing the game in a completely different language. <laughs> if this if this was all I saw, I would have thought, oh no, Chad, I accidentally put on, you know, German or something. Uh, I would probably recognize German, to be fair. But, you know. Okay. When it makes you worse... I see a bear. Oh yeah, it's one of them uh, pictures with the uh, things on it. Hmm. Okay. I sure hope it's not English. I'm still trying to learn it. <laughs> then we are too. In here we're learning a lot of new words today. So welcome to the English learning stream. Okay, so basically this is the character we're playing as. If you were wondering, if you came in with the red. Uh, it's uh, Yodi... Homer, I think how you pronounce it. Uh, and uh, we are investigating the mis disappearance of our. I need the key. 
of our uncle who stayed here. And um, we seem to be experiencing already some sort of weird, strange abnormalities. Hold to open the map. The map is updated with information. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold it for the map. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, look. Do you see the puzzle piece in the cleric's office? Okay. Um, We should be able to go into the rooms here now, though. Should we go upstairs? Maybe? I need the key. Can't go in here. Yeah, ink bloats, exactly. It's obviously an x-ray of the back legs of a frog. <gasps> Farmaga, I think you got it. I think you got it. Whoa. This is definitely some kind of Resident Evil puzzle. What is this? Is that the thing I was fighting earlier? Hmm. Hmm, looks familiar. Hmm. Maybe all of these are the... What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Stain? Oh, behind here. <gasps> Secret rot. This oh. must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Oh gosh. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Guess we gotta find some pieces. Modern art. Oh oh. Okay. Uh Sitting room, toilet, Cassandra's room. Who was I going to? Oh, oh, some laggies. Hello? Can Baptiste go into all of these? Jeremy's room. Oh, Jeremy's room! All back to normal. Still cannot open his trunk. What is that? Emily is here? <gasps> Emily is here. Why was there a child? Emily is here. Oh my gosh, that's why nothing happened. I might have been able to play the other things, but it says X to play. So I've been pressing X, but I've been pressing it on my on my PlayStation controller. Emily is here. Emily is here. Eh? The little girl that showed us the room? Emily is here. I gotta press square, not X. Emily is here. Okay, Emily is here apparently. So she draw me a painting? Hmm. Good thing <laughs> good thing I learned how to use the talisman. I feel a little bit worried. <laughs> because we sold the palace talisman puzzle completely on accident. <laughs> I just kind of turned it around and suddenly it worked. So if I'm gonna have to use the talisman again, I'm screwed. Like if if I need that for another puzzle, I'm gonna have to spend equally a long time trying to figure it out. Right there. Nails. Rusty nails in a coffin. Hmm. Oh, hang on, we have a collar. Hello? Emily is here. <laughs> it's basically the same voice! Emily is here! Thanks for calling in to tell us that. <laughs> Fountain pen. Fountain pen. Lagniape. Like hmm. hmm. Those children. You know when I look at... Uh, my new monitor has such fantastic coloring and it looks so beautiful the way the little artwork on the like Neapis. I can't sh show that anywhere I guess but the little pop-up and it's like in this beautiful purple magenta color and then it looks much more 
Dull on the stream. I'm sorry about that, chat. You can't see... You can't see the things. Who is that? Whose room are we in? Yeah, look at me. I have a new monitor. Oh, is that Baptiste? No, it's some boxer, maybe. Big fan of boxing. I have a new monitor. I can see super cute colors. Uh, listen, chat. I've had the... I got my first new monitor. Uh, I replaced the one that I bought 11 years ago. Because the other one died. It's an OLED monitor. So uh, those are very extra colorful. I think that's, uh, that's it. My first time ever having an OLED. Very cool. Yeah, no, it doesn't look... Yeah, OLED. It doesn't look bad, uh, I think, without it. But, like, the change from me looking from one monitor to the other one. I actually want an OLED monitor. One that can actually do HDR. Yeah, they're starting to pop up more and more. I think it was more common with the TVs, but now it's... Yeah. What I do, what I, what the thing with OLED monitors is that oh, if you are doing a lot of work with text, the text won't be as crisp as it is on, for example, an IPS. So, um, if you're doing a lot of work with that, that is strange but beautiful room. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at all the all the greeneries. They're, yeah, exactly. They're, it's more of a gaming and maybe watching movies monitors. This rot on the wall. Ah! What does it say? James McManon. There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. There are. Franklin. Moosig! <laughs> Moosig! Brian Gumfrey. I'll click on this one. Philip Curtis and Nora Keys. Okay. Oh. Is the road supposed to go? Is this like a. Are we making so there's always a rot? Hmm. I don't know what just happened, but I think I saw the puzzle. Scary. Scary. Hey, Raz, what's up? Welcome in. I'm not sure what that was, but hopefully it was a good sound. It didn't sound like a good sound, but... Start a artist colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Elisabetta Perusi in the bottom. Franklin Musig. It's funny because Musig, it means like something that is like squishy or mushy, you know, in, in Swedish. <laughs> Musig. I also heard a scary sound, but hopefully it's not scary. Hey. Elisabetta had those there? Could she not show that and be like, yo, it's me, I'm Elisabetta. You will need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But Peace not kiss. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Get them out away uh, again? Does she want to get her friends out? Are they stuck somewhere? Maybe they are also stuck in the dark place. In the upside down. 
Les Huguenot. Wow, that's a very... <laughs> nothing and then bloop, 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 and then nothing. Or is this the same page for all different instruments? Oh, never mind. It must just be that there's one instrument playing. Okay. Music to my ears. <laughs> Music. Hey, oh. Are these zodiac signs? Oh yeah, we saw it in her notes. Hang on. I saw the zodiacs. Puzzle time chat. Puzzle. One... One one ten. Oh no, what does that mean? What do you mean one eleven ten? One eleven twelve. One, two, three. Is this binary? How do you speak? Okay, Aquarius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, okay. One wait a minute. She marked them 12 because there was 12. She just wrote one because that's number one, the first one. One, 10, 11. That's the first. Wait, it's not just Aquarius, Piskis, Piskis, Aries. Are we taking the signs of some people we knew, maybe? Oh! No. They have numbers here. One, two, three. There's no 10 or 11, though. And we don't know their birth dates. What? Oh, there's something here. I must return clue. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. What? My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. What? Thank you for opening these doors. The well, oven? Now I'm gonna summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Is this how they speak in... over here? He was here! Jeremy was here! The spare bear! Hi! Thank you for coming in! Oh no, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to be able to solve that from all that's in this room? The artist colony established 1905. I have all I need for this pussy. Oh, look, we have a mirror. We have a reflection. That doesn't often has. You can't just ask why someone has an accent. What? But I have an accent. Can I ask about accents then? I must return. Do I have the maybe her the day that she disappeared? Here, patient records. Maybe if we read something about her, Elisabetta. We don't know when she's born. She disappeared on September 1915. September. That would be number nine. I think I'm overthinking this. That would be number nine. And number nine is Libra. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They're locked up for no reason. For good reason. Oh, get things out of the drawers? Or she's still able to whisper the answer in her ears of the wrong people. has accents okay we don't have that much to choose from there's not 12 sides to this is there what 
They don't have the... They don't have the... They... They don't... They... Hi, choo -choo. they removed Capricorn. <laughs> Why is it always Capricorn that is getting left out? I have an American accent? Yeah. I do too. David, I do too. Uh, I missed something in Jeremy's room. Oh yeah, that's the books. Hmm. The simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists who lived in the house 20 years ago. Simple? They easily turned into numbers when needed but also acted as signatures for the members, as there were only 12 of them. Oh. Is it together with the other paper? 538, what did we say? 5... No, that one has already been used, right? 358. Three five eight. That one's still being used. Three five eight. It was being used as numbers for the people living here. That's interesting. Three Arius. Yeah, I need to. I need to draw it. <laughs> I need to draw it. Oh, choo choo. Yes, I sound so American, don't I? Okay, Arius. Three. Or five Yemeni five and then eight five six seven eight Virgo oh no I don't think they had Virgo there I don't think I saw Virgo but uh you can try um there Yemeni. There's no Virgo here. They said they use it for people. Wait, take is not American? <laughs> I know, it's so hard to believe actually. Patient records. As there were 12 of them. Oh, 12 patients. Oh, back in the days? The simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists oh, who the lived artists. in the house 20 years ago. They easily mm. turned into numbers when needed, but also acted as signatures for the members, as there were only 12 of them. But there is not 12, there is... Nine. There are two more people in here that we don't know about. Press a piskies? Yeah, I think there might one. Might have been one. Hmm. Oh no, did you lose the heist? I am sorry. The heist be rigged sometimes. Elisabetta Perosi. She's number seven. Maybe it's do just her. Maybe she's the only one. Seven. Twenty-seven. Leo. Oh, I already tried that one. That's the only one I did. Already put, put here three times. Okay. Here. Click. Click. It doesn't work. I don't know if we have everything we need to do this. We, we might not have everything we need to be able to use to do that one. This is a game where I feel like we need to do... The old clock was an intricate... See this? We might like come back here later on. Because we have several things to do on the to-do list, right? Have you saved by the way, Hecky? Uh, no, it doesn't auto-save? 
<laughs> Oops. That could have gone bad. <laughs> Thanks, Ehrlich. Serving the day. Wow. That was probably the biggest scare we've had today. Yep. Oh no, this is bird. But I think there's like a little icon that blinks sometimes. So I do think that there might be an autosave. We just haven't... Maybe they just don't get reg registered in the big one. Okay. Bar the doors. Maybe we can go in this... You see there? There was a camera in the top right. I need the key. No? Wait, I have everything I can... That's it? Oh my gosh. Let's sleep good night. Sleep well. I hope you sleep good and we catch you tomorrow. Okay. I must return. I did it across. Why did Jeremy put this letter on, on Elizabeth's bed, by the way? Elisabetta's bed. That's interesting. Uh, don't know. Maybe I should try the different order. The, I I think honestly, I personally think that this must be something that maybe I could solve later. Good night. I hope you feel bad. Good night. I hope you feel good. It's probably something that's. Oh no! Yeah, I can't even do that one. Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna go and see if I can do it backwards. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have all the pieces maybe to this. Rose's journal. There is how to save you can sit in the load menu. Oh okay. That's really good. Howdy Yogs, what's up? Aquarius Iskis Aries. I don't think there was Aquarius here either. No. So there's not that many things that we can use. And there's a billion combinations. I think we just might not know about this one yet. We might have to find more clues. Perhaps. Find the horoscope book? Yeah, maybe that. Oh, what was this? Did we just solve this puzzle and we had no idea? <gasps> William, Musig, and Nora. Oh my gosh. We have everything we need. William, Musig, Mora. William, two. Nusig, Musig, nine. Nora, four. Oh my gosh. I think I figured it out. No, we need this one. Two is Piskis. Nine is Libra. And four is Taurus. Hey, look, croissant. The tower is almost like I'm making an eight with two rings. Just open it up a little. Uh, Piskis? <gasps> he did it! Oh, go. oh my gosh, we are puzzle professionals. Yay, but I'm a Taurus. Maybe that's why, Croissant. You're a Taurus and you started writing the eights like that. Dun, dun. Your map also has a key to show you if you can solve pusses or not. Wait. Really? Well, Lord, the decorative place. That's a dark and burnt quality. Dark and burnt. Wait, it does? I need to take.
What is a pink if you can't find stuff there? Yeah. No, but the pink isn't pink because we haven't gotten all the stuff in there. But it uh, it doesn't mean that I have everything. Wait. The puzzle piece is a puzzle. Yeah, exactly. I un I understand that the puzzle pieces are puzzles, but I don't know if I know if I have everything I can solve it. Right? Like, if I have all the pieces to it yet? Sometimes you go, oh, I gotta... Gotta come back later. What happened here? <laughs> but like the colors of the room, they are like in Resident Evil. Ew, they're moving! We're crouch. Big bugs. Careful, Fabmaker. In case it is by doors. Okay, you know what? No, I can't save. Okay, lucky I saved a little while ago. Oh, is it eagles? Psst. You think there are creepers here, Birkeborg? It's eagles. I don't have picture because scary. Um, it, it's just the the we're just walking in a hallway, but there is a bunch of like bug eggs and uh, little eagles. No eagles. No, I mean eagle in in Swedish. Uh, leeches. Ah! Oh no! Eagles everywhere. So in Swedish we call eagle. Uh, leech, eagle. Are they exploding? You want to stomp on them? I'm gonna crouch around them and hope that everybody's gonna let us out. Is that okay? Oh. That's normal. Uh oh. Some laggies. Everything's back to normal. Yeah, what was that? What do you call eagles, the birds? Urn. <laughs> Urn. A an O with dots on it. But so, so here is, uh, here is this thing, right? Then we only have one piece. We still need one more. But the map still looks like that, right? The one piece is real. Uh, yeah. Suddenly, Jeremy's bleak dreamscape devoured Emily, huh? drowning her in dread and darkness. <clears throat> Only to moments later spit her out again. What had happened, and why? Was that in the Was Egan corridor? Doing, or did someone else make it so? Find the surface boiler mention. Oh yeah, the boiler and the kitchen garden. The kitchen garden might have the last piece for this one. Repair the decorative plate on the astronomical clock. Okay, so now we need to go back down to the garden, I think. The kitchen garden. The king of pirates? That's me! I'm the pirate king. I can't move very close or it seems like the game is a little bit stuttering. Not sure if I have too high settings, but... I need the key. Batiste was not allowed to go through there in his staff? You're kind of rude. Oh, can we go outside here? Where we came from from the start? No. I can't leave. I need to find Jeremy. He's sorry. I didn't mean we're gonna go home. Sounds like the PC board is having some performance issues. Yeah, I heard some people were talking about performance issues on on Steam. We we, we back when I had a PlayStation Four. <laughs> Is that sound? I used to actually look at reviews and see, like, is this game stable on PC? Oh, we need to grab the ladder! Okay, so we have to go around this time. Uh, I used to check reviews and then I just used to be like, okay, this seems to be performing better on PlayStation. And then I... 
pick that to stream from instead. I'm playing on PC right now. Who's this? The Yassi player is... <gasps> is it the... What was her name? The one out in the nightlifes? Did we just go in and start smoking? What? Kind of rude, we didn't even say hi! Hello, I'm gonna just come in here and make some s smoky noise in your room. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Ruth. But why didn't we say hi? <laughs> I wish smoking was still good for you, like in the 1930s. <laughs> ah, the good old times. Is that Perrick you're smoking? We're we getting toe flirted? <laughs> terribly quaint. Leg flirted? Maybe so. But I like her. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. <clears throat> Are we on the job? Maybe we should be professional. We're getting very flirted with. Do they have uh, protect STD protections back in the days? <laughs> Hey Arson, welcome in and no fear. How can anyone Is not flirt with you? Know. Yeah. I, I guess enjoy that's enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> Your insincerity is really refreshing. I'm very confused. If you were mad as I am, then you could stay. Why Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. Do they know each other from before? Oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. Do they have a history? <laughs> Why are they so familiar and friendly with you each don't other? You know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Okay. Bon voyage. They know each other. They definitely know. The way that we just walked in and strutted in and immediately started smoking without even saying, Oh, hey, you haven't come to the right room. I, I, they, they have history, right? They have history. Imagine walking into a lock. Yeah, it was locked. We just took the key out. <laughs> yeah, I think we know each other. I think we know each other. That's just what the wrist looked like in the 30s, all just strutting in with your cigarette and not even saying anything. Scout, thank you so much for the 68 months of being subscribed. Thank you so much. Welcome in Heights, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, welcome in. I think we just found our girlfriend. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Here we go. Very brick low. Story time. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Mm. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. $30 for a plot of land? Hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion. $30? With a striking Greek revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum tobacco. era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of the and free the slaves working there. 
The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes his men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. What? Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated <gasps> to his ships with his men. It's the picture we saw! The Sipo was left in Norton. ruins for several decades. Arriving. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. Oh no! The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desato, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. Oh. The farmland had been reclaimed tomato? by the surrounding tobacco, woods, tomato. so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a yeah. successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. And Musig was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates. Of Mardi Gras Montreux. crew? On September what does that 29th, mean? 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, <gasps> causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. No. The twelve residing artists had all vanished. Abandoned. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain with much of its temple facade intact. Mm. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. That's not what happened. $30 in 1818 is equivalent to in purchasing power to about 733. Wait, 1818. Well, what about 19? No, wait. Oh yeah, you're right. He bought it for eight in 1818. Wait! So, he still would have just bought the plot of land for $700. It's not too bad for a whole plot of land. <laughs> Chad, are we gonna buy some plots of land for $700? Make our own little plantations? Plantations. Maybe we shouldn't be... Well, we can be planting some corn to make popcorn. Hello, do we have a history? Are you reading anything good? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin. It's actually not bad. You know where Detective Carnby is? Oh, you don't need him. You're doing fine. He wants to talk with Dr. Gray, right? I'm shining the... <laughs> shining flashlight right in her face. I'm very sorry. I should probably go. What? Until next time, Sherry. Sherry, I think we know each other. Also, when did we get so dirty? Was that in the eagle corridor? Hey, Gigan, welcome. Yeah, the game is great. Honestly, oh, I'm playing the PC version. It's a little bit laggy for me. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. That's what unlocks if we get enough of these things. Lagniapis. There's one that says unlocks the shotgun cabinet. <gasps> Yo, we just need one more thing. Oh my gosh. And then we get the shotgun. What is that? It looks like some... Oh, it's probably just a belt. I was gonna say it looks like something for um, those uh, workout machines. Oh, it's a collar. <gasps> Is it from Yak's dog, maybe? You're so right. I didn't even realize it was a dog collar. <laughs> yeah, a headlamp. Thank you, Hegigan. I'm glad somebody else is completely oblivious to dog collars. Um, I hope you're good, Hegigan. Thank you for coming by also. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you and hi. 
and hi and happy Saturday. That we cannot write with. Okay, anything here? Grapes. Long sheeps? What's that? It's wet shot. Oh, I need to bring something. Get that out. The drawing room. Ah, why does it say pussel? Not a pussel. Well, maybe I make a pussel to unlock it. Oh, what? Why are you puzzle bits? I do need to maybe 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 it's a puzzle piece because I need to figure out how to get rid of it. <gasps> Doku hmm. Also door blue, hello Okay, game night in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the patio. <gasps> what? what the heck just happened? Ew! What does it sound like? Flies. Ew! What's going on on the ground? Can I do anything here? Can I go outside still? What did you say? Something over here. So is this from when the house was on fire? Oh my gosh, we get bold coot there, so let's go! Hey, good morning everybody who just woke up from that. <laughs> that was a scary... We cannot go out here? I literally rubbed my eyes right at that point. I'm so sorry. Got the bolt cut as chat. And everything stopped happening bad things. I don't understand what's happening. I me mean, neither, Yori. It's okay. I mean Emily. I don't either. Can we use the bolt cutters to cut this open? <laughs> Is this DMCA for me? Oh, it stopped. It heard me asking. Should we start again? Good night, Rast. Thank you for coming over. Spatty also. Hello, hello, hello. The wiener waltz! Meh, I can hear it again. So I hear it in the background. It's doing scary things. Meh. Hello? I don't know. Bolt cutters. Finnish basic dental tools? <laughs> that way, Ati has them. In handy, always. <gasps> Where did she go? Hello? Would have been interesting if we could see her from here when we were here in the start. Okay, we're back here at least. Down in the garden. Somebody's burying suspicious items. Hello. Thank you for a wonderful 44 months, Hecky, and Chad, but mainly Hecky, Hecky, Uwu. What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. Oh, she's singing in? I wouldn't have guessed Voodoo was just in smoke? a place like this. Good night, the I hope you feel may bad. Be all about science, but I know these roots have power. You know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. 
It's a battleground. And it would all be a it's lot night better use. if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. We're just fine with trying to find our uncle. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. <laughs> I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. Hmm, gumbo. PUBG? Good night, you. So I hope you sleep well. Take good care. Also, Panda, thank you so much for the resub. 44 months of being subbed. Am I just gonna dig up whatever she just dug down? <laughs> Thanks so much for being subbed for 44 months in total. And with a tier 3. Thank you so much. What the heggy? Thank you so much. Glad you wanted to stick around with us for a while. It's still light outside, so we don't have to worry. Although the sun seems to be setting soon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Sorry for real subbing during a cutscene. Yeah, how dare you? How dare you throw money at the stream and support... The channel? Mummified cat? Oh, the, the, this is the one that looks uh, looks beautiful on my monitor. <laughs> the, like, the text that is all purple. Mummified cat. Why did she dig this down? East of Burden. Is this kind of rude of me to kind of just pick it up? She was like trying to give it a burial. Or did she dig it up? What's that? Yeah, what is that? Bolt cutter. On the garden holes. It's another piece of broken plate. I need something for the garden holes to bring the water level up. I guess maybe we can bolt cut this place now. Yeah, screw keys. For making sure that nobody can ever lock these things ever again. It worked. It worked! I can't believe bolt cutters would cut something. Okay, let me plop that up. So that we can climb up if we need to. Can we pick, take it down again? No, oh no, 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 I just wanted... Okay, never mind. Bolt cutters are just universal keys. I do think that is true. Definitely indeed. Water hose, key item. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Yeah, what is this? I wonder if we can use it over here. Water hose. And then in here. Uh oh, I need to turn on the water maybe. All the way back. Here. What's that noise? I hear something. <gasps> Hello? There we go. Hello? Is there a cat in there? I don't want to shoot. What if it's a, just a cat? I would like to interact somehow, but I guess I can't. Good. Heck, he's learning to do basic gardening. Yay! You think it's some... Yeah, what if it's a mummy? Oh, it was there last time? I did not see it. Yay! We got the last piece! Broken plate. Large piece of decorative plate. It's a dark and burnt quality. Nice. Objectives, chat. Objectives. I'm not sure if um what more objectives the were there. The buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows. She did. She was singing in some Creole language, performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual. Oh no! Certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the French Quarter, but voodoo had never felt this bitter to Emily. 
Did I just pick up a voodoo-ified voodoo doll? That kind of doesn't maybe feel great. But I needed it for my Lagniapes. So I guess you do what you gotta do. Um, There's still something in Lottie's room. Wait a minute. Dear Hall. Library small parlor. What was it that we didn't get in the other rooms? Um, yeah, I think it means we are cursed now. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, we never fully walked in here, did we? This is Lottie's room. We never find the key to this. Broken plate. Doesn't seem to be what we can use. Okay, that's what we need for Lottie's room. Library. Uh. Here. No. In here. Oh, it said so on the plaque. Have we ever been in here? Oh, this is where she was sitting. Oh, she went left. Left her book. The book she was reading. A brightness from afar. Like Nyapi. Vagabonds. Okay. That was what we missed in the library. Small parlor. There's something. Oh, it's the shotgun. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we'll come back there later. Hmm. Collectible is collectible. Yeah, no matter what. Did we ever go upstairs? Here? I don't think we did. <gasps> Time to go upstairs. Oh, 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 oh. It's wet shut. What? Everything is wedged. All doors wedged? Private, no entry. Hey, never mind. That's how much we could go upstairs. <laughs> I got so excited. Not going upstairs. Lanyap. 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 I keep forgetting that. Uh, I also forget where to go. In... Up. No. Up. 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 That's when you start yapping during a LAN party? LAN. LAN yap. You know what? Now I will remember it. Yapping during LAN party. Okay, now I will save because I don't want anything bad to happen. Dot number two. Okay, broken piece. I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah. Me too. Uh cannot move the middle piece. I think I think the key to this puzzle is in one of the papers we found, but I don't think we need it. There was something in Jeremy's notebook about this. No, oh, I think we got it. Yeah. Did it break? The clock just stopped. We did. Oh no! What did we do? We just broke the clock. In these Good kind of puzzles. Feel bad. <laughs> Good night, Jordan. Take care. Thanks for coming by. See you tomorrow. 
Uh, the, that, those kind of pusses are my cup of tea. This, not so much. <laughs> what is this? It's just a... Six? Three? Three? Six? Four. Three, six, four. Three, six, four. No, three, four, six, maybe, because it's small, bigger, bigger. Maybe three, four, six. Ooh, and look, that one has the astrology design, too. Three, four, six. Hmm. Keep breaking old clocks. I'm sorry. Do I need this for something? Hmm. Okay, now I get it. Oh no, I have to use this. Chad, no. <laughs> Okay, so somehow that was right. And what was I trying to get then? Like five, th five, three, eight. How did that become correct then? Oh no, Chad, I've done an oopsie. Five, eight is on up. Maybe the number needs to go up. Three five eight. Three five eight. Let's backtrack. Eight is up, and then five was up, and then three was up. Three five eight. Maybe that's maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe just go up with the numbers. So now three. Uh. Four. Six. Dang it. That wasn't it. No, that's a nine. Dang it. That wasn't it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Freckles and freaks. Three, four, six. I I am so confused. Let's let's start with it in this position. Freckles and freaks. I I force some more video footage to delete from YouTube upload. No no no, I won't delete it. People will have to fast forward. <laughs> uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, feel free to fast forward. <laughs> Okay, so basically what I, I have done before, we had a puzzle that we solved with this thing before. And I kind of brute forced it. Um, I kind of brute forced it. But um, I didn't realize that we were going to have to do this again. So now I have to figure out once again how to solve it. Uh, what if it's like, what if it's... What if, uh, <laughs> uh, um, well, so, let's take the small one, three, one, two, three, three, do I tried before, three, four, and then six, doesn't work. Three. But three is down there. Four is there. Six is there. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. The three is going to be downside. Down bottom. Six is going to be there. Four there. Three. Four. Uh, what did I say? Six there? 
Wait, I need to look again. Six needs to be there. Six there. Four there. Shoot. Oh no. This will take a while. Yes, Ridley, it will. It will. Um. Anyone want a cat? Mine is so clingy. Wait, is that not what they're supposed to do? The cat is supposed to cling? Okay. Ted, I can do it. I can do it, okay? I, I will figure this out. <laughs> I will figure it out somehow. Three. Does it matter what direction they're pointing? Maybe. Three. Three. Three is... Okay, I'm gonna do that. Three. That. Six. That. Four. Okay, now I know exactly where they're pointing. So I'm making a drawing because I'm really good at drawing chat. <laughs> look. Look. Look how good. That's my, that's my number, that's my clock, that's where they are at. Even before you accidentally do it again? Yeah, what if I do? Okay. Um, and the small one, it feels like it should be corresponding to the rings, right? Because I have a small and a bigger and a biggest. What does it mean that they have different kind of numbers? That only has six, nine numbers. That one has, well, like a, an old clock. And then that one has 24. And also it has the zodiacs on them. Flawless. I, I will not be brute forcing it. I will be doing great. It's the Klingons. <laughs> the Klingons are the Klingy. Okay. Cheater? What? How have I cheated? Um... 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the problem is that this one doesn't have 24 rings. Maybe the small ones. Oh, from writing down, you need to remember the numbers? No, I wrote, I wrote them down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wrote them down. What if I... Wait, the outer ring cannot even be there. Can the inner ring be? Maybe the small is six. Four is there. And three. There. And four is there. There. No. How did I not? How did I solve it last time? Little, small, little, middle, bigger. I'm just over here waiting for the accident to solve. Yeah, that's gonna happen probably. Three, four, six. Don't worry, Ted. I got it under control. No help. Three, four, six. Um. Maybe I go up. Three. Three. Did I try that already? Four. That already. Six. What about... Um... What about... Um... Six. Four. Three. Hi. <sighs> oh. It's already starting. Oh, when is daylight? 
Oh, you mean daylight savings? That happens next week. <laughs> there is the zodiac signs on here, but I'm not sure how that's gonna help. One, two, three, four, five, six is in between. those two <laughs> it, it's not even it's not even one thing right or is it three four six one two three aries aries three four six aries taurus And sixty nine. But how am I gonna make those into here? Or maybe where they are positioned on the clock? Thirteen. Now that doesn't work. Is it pitch black here? Oh, it's already starting to get brighter outside. Yeah. It is, and it's gonna get even brighter. Starting next week, I think. Arius, Taurus, and Secret 69. Arius, Aurus. <laughs> um, is that one? I don't think this is helping me anyway. Nine. I, I don't. Is that the position it should be in? There. Three corresponding to that. There. 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 So they should be at... Wait, is that the amount of numbers I can... Nope. Out of it. Three, four, six. There, there, there. Three, four, six. I don't know if this is going to help at all. X is going to be there. Or hey. Where's there? It didn't work. Um Waiting for Hickey to figure out presents. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Am I making it harder for myself again? Probably. <laughs> All other puzzles so far haven't been this hard. It's just this one that is ridiculously hard. Okay, maybe I just start with that one. Three, that one is in the correct position. Four, six, that's in the right position too. Oh, do I need to start from this angle? Maybe I need to angle everything so it's in a good position. And then, three. Oh, that's in the right position. Three, four, Six. 
I can't believe it. Elish, you figured this one out? If only I knew what we did that solved it last time. Okay, how about the corresponding things here? No, that doesn't work either. What? Good luck, I'm almost getting back to when I said I'd be online. <laughs> oh no, Zoe, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out. At least you figured it out. He says with disbelief, listen. <laughs> um... I didn't mean to mean oi oi I didn't mean to, to doubt Elish's uh, um capabilities of solving this. It's just that it seems impossible. And look then there's also the moon, right? One of them has moon faces. Does that mean anything? Sun and moon. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. What if it corresponds to the people on the painting again? Well, how is that gonna help me? Because then I still don't have anything. People on the painting. Three, four, six. And then what do I get? Nothing. That will just get us random people's names. And that will not give us anything. Unless I have to flip the pictures again. No, because there's not that many people. <sighs> and oh, kitty! <laughs> this is what I get for picking the thing where I said no, no help. When I said that to the game, I want the old school way. But to be fair, everything so far has been just fine. It's only this thing that has been weird. Are you shaking in your boots? What is wrong? But the clock is different. They have the wrong one. Well, that doesn't matter because I took the right one. What if Heike was a game in the 1990s? Yeah, that's when I would never beat a game. That's what happened when I played games like when I was a child. Okay, I played games as a child in like the early 2000s, but um, still, it was not good. Mostly it was because the games were in English. I almost managed to beat Winnie the Pooh on Game Boy, but that was because I put it in Danish <laughs> instead of um, English. For some reason, they had a Danish version, but they did not have a Swedish. Isn't that weird? Why would they have Winnie the Pooh in Danish, but not in Swedish? <sighs> How did I solve it last time? Are you going to play through the Silent Hill 2 remaster? I would love to, but I've never played the original one. I've never played the original, so I feel like maybe it would be um, strange for me to play maybe the other one, the sequel, or are they not connected? I've been looking for ways to to sort out the to play the full uh, uh, to play the original, but it's so hard to get a hold of. It's almost like they don't want you to play it the way that it, you can't get your hand on it anymore. Chad, I... I don't know. I'm gonna brute force it again. Alright. <laughs> We're all under control. <laughs> How did I solve it last time? Because I sold it when I wasn't even trying. Right? Didn't I like... <laughs> yeah, exactly! We... Three is in that position. Four is in that position. 
tanks is there. I'm it's it's done. I have done it. Why are you no give me reward? Yeah, I kind of brute force it third time. But if you brute for oh yeah, if I brute force it now, I will brute force it again the next time it comes up. I think this is the bad thing about figuring it out the first time is that I I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it. Did I do it? I f I feel like I was on to it. Three, four, six. Do they go up? Three, four. I try that one too. Six. Or is it the small one? Is six? Six, four. Three, two. Time to try every combination. Exactly. But the number seem backwards. Yeah, exactly. Six, four, three. But that one we tried too. Six, four, three. And it must have something to do with the with the positioning. I thought. Six, four, three. Positioning of the of the zodiacs. Okay, now we're gonna take. Wait a minute! Hi, choo -choo. Choo. The big one and the small one always correspond to each other. They're always in the same position. Like they have. They have the same numbers. One, two, two, three, four. Wait, why is the middle one going? Oh my gosh! Wait, do I have to spin then? Does direction of my spin matter? Does the direction that I spin things in matter? Maybe because. One of them dials the one way around, the other way around from the others. Maybe I need, maybe clockwise and counterclockwise matters. One wild timepiece? I know, we're trying our best here. So, one, two, three. Now that's in the right thing. Four? Do I do it on the little pointer in the bottom, maybe? I wasn't even supposed to do it before. Five, six. No, because the pointer doesn't go here. <laughs> Am I complicating? I feel like I'm making it so much harder than it should be. I was actually... When we accidentally brute forced it last time, I was just about to ask if somebody had like a hint, something that I seem to have missed out on. over there six so I can't put them or 
sticks. Super wind. Try underthinking it. Underthinking it. You get in here, backseaters! Uh, Elish is not gonna backseat. You want a hint to the previous puzzle? Yeah! I think so. I don't want to be stuck forever. I, I think I screwed myself up by like accidentally solving the first one. Because I don't know now what the solution was, right? Oh, that's probably the standard position. No, it's probably like so. This is the base position, I think. Those up and those up. That matters somehow. <sighs> One pixies! Hi! Thank you so much for sitting! 74 months? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, wait. Uh, thank you. It's a hecking long time of being subscribed. On a, on a row? Welcome! I'm playing a pussy game that I can't seem to solve. I'm playing a pussy game. And I don't seem to be able to solve it and I don't understand why. One. Hmm. One. Clothes are really uncomfortable in this orientation. That is your clue. What? Clothes are uncomfortable in this position? What a hint? <laughs> what? This position? Do I want to be naked? Loads are uncomfortable. Everyone get naked! <laughs> With this username! What's up, Slap? Welcome in! <laughs> Thanks for joining us! Welcome! I'm not even sure what he means and I know how to solve. Oh, is it that much of a, like, hint hint? Um... The blue wolf, welcome! That was Slab's moment. Imagine just coming in with that as your first time chat. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us, Slab. I hope you're good. <laughs> I'm trying to solve a puzzle. I uh, I accidentally brute forced the last time we played with this uh, little ring thing here. And so uh, I don't know how to solve the puzzles that are using this thing now. Um, so, you know, we're, uh, suffering from that. I'm suffering from that. And now Fabrica gave me a hint. And the hint was that clothes are uncomfortable. What? In this position? What does clothes have to do with my clothes here? Clothes. Loads are uncomfortable. I gave you a very esoteric hint. I'm not sure what uh, the word esoteric means. Wait, it's snowing for you, but it was 21 degrees for you today? Which won't let me send a DM without verifying my phone number? Yeah, they, it's a change uh, for to in order to make sure, like, to combat the bots. Which is actually really good because I haven't gotten a lot of bot DMs anymore. Um, really nice. I don't know what's going on. It's I'm playing a puzzle. Oh wait, you mean with the snow? Yeah, the weather also doesn't make sense. The spring weather makes equally less sense as this dang puzzle here. Dad, I'm losing my marbles. Loads. Do I take off my clothes? <laughs> Loads hanging them in the nighttime. 
You know what I'm gonna do? Wait, no, but you said that that was a hint for the previous puzzle. Which still didn't make any sense to me. Jeremy's warning. I don't have the piece of puzzle investigation that we had last time. So I can't go back to that. He said, it's not what I want. Look, those ones also have little m moons on them. The middle one has m m moons on it. See that? There's something with moons for the middle ring at all times. My puzzle has screwed up the weather. That sounds about right. The same principle as last time. I have no idea what the hint means, though. But but the thing is, with the last time, I have no idea what I did. <laughs> I have to go back to my vod and watch when I solved it. Um, where the half sink circle thing is, with the way you point chose the number. Yeah, I don't know with the last puzzle. Did anybody clip when I uh, att unintentionally solved it? What if we go? What if I go back and look at my old solution? Maybe that would be the the way to solve this. Maybe if I if I look at what how I solved the last one. B five eight. Oh, it was such a similar number. I could have just changed it a little bit. Give me your phone number and I'll text you early. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I, I if I can do. I, I'm gonna go immediately and see. No. Okay. Um. It, it was somehow in this direction when I sold it last time. Right? Something was pointing here. That means... There is a... One. I don't care, dude. One. Two, one, two, nothing can line up with the other one though. Three. They had the numbers one, two, three, and they had the words. Three five eight. One two three. One. One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. <laughs> I'm doing so far fetched solutions now. No, that's supposed to work. Oh, yeah, I want to, I want another hint. I'm never gonna. Oh, you figured it out when I solved it, Faber Maker. Wait, okay, then I want to look at my vote. Can I, can I, I need to look at my vote. I need to look at my own solving of it. <laughs> I need to see what I did how, what, when I solved it. 
When in the world was it? Here. Found it. Well, I found me sitting and trying to figure it out for like 30 minutes. Did it take that long? Okay, I have it. I have the moment I solve it. What was the solution? Was that the solution? No, that wasn't the solution. That's me crying. I need to pause at the moment that it's solved. And I start from the top. Start with it. I don't know if starting position matters. Okay, let's just do what I did. Starting position up. No. Okay. Oh, I found the solution. Eight was up. I already done that. I ended it with eight up. What? Reverse it. I ended. I solved it when eight was up, and that was the last number. Shoot, I need to clip this. <laughs> I need to clip my own so I don't have to go back and forward in the wood. Is that maths? Yeah, I'm doing maths. Re reverse what I did here. No, what did I do? Shoot, stop! Hey, you're solving it too fast. Am I only swinging around the outside one? Bring the outside up. Three. Five. Eight. Three, five, eight. They're like up, down, up. Does that matter? And now it is three. Four. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the position it was in when I solved it. This is this is what it looked like when we solved it last time. What does this mean? Remember you had two cl clues. Yeah, I had one, two, three, five, three, five, eight. And I see that five has been pointing that into that, and three is upwards. Can I just add a number? Three, because it was three, five, eight. Now it's three. Let's not touch the inner one. And then just move this one. Instead of five, we put it at four. And instead of eight, put it at six. No, imagine if that worked. You currently have 358 input. Yeah. And it was like so, like that. And how do I, how do I reverse it? Good night, I hope you feel bad. I probably put three up. And then five. And then eight. Okay. No, that's not it. That's not what it looks like. How did I put it? How did I do it? Put in. Uh, good night. I hope you feel good. Say, say, good night. I hope you can get some sleep. Thank you for wanting to let us keep you company. Okay, like so. This was the correct solution for three, five, eight. What on earth? So, 
the, so I shouldn't touch that ring at all. Unless I need to... What, what did I do leading up to this position? I took green down. I didn't even... No, I did. Did we ever get Gamba back? No, you did not. Three, five, eight. Five, eight, three, five, eight. Oh my gosh, I think I figured it out. Maybe. No. Because... You're currently indicating 358. Yes, because... We are pointing at the numbers. Is that it? Because that one is pointing into 5 in the middle one. The outer one is pointing into the 5 on the middle. And the middle is pointing into 8 in the inner. Maybe? But wait, how do I point on the outer though? With the pointer in the bottom. 3, 5, and oh. My gosh. 3. 4. How does it work? I was so sure. Three, four, six. Why doesn't it work? Am I in the wrong order? Maybe I'm in the wrong order. Maybe it's six, four, three. Okay, I still don't sure. exactly know. <laughs> it's just a thing that's so genius, I still know. I still don't exactly know. But at least I know that the arrows are what I'm supposed to look at. And then we can try it backwards and forwards. It's as simple as that. I didn't get I didn't get it. Because they, they look they were pointing at horoscopes and things. But this is a good thing to have learned, and also, um, I still don't know. Oh my gosh, okay, it was backwards because six was the big one. The big wheel go to six. That's why it was backwards. So the, solu the, the, the sizes of these ones are the sizes of the other ones. Okay, yay, we did it, and I have absolutely no idea what I just said, by the way. <laughs> We did it! Yay! And she said like... What did she say? Wait, I'm lagging. Was I solving the puzzle for that long? <gasps> Hello? Um... Hello? Are we alone in the dark? Oh no. I did it. I opened up another dream. You sure did. I was overthinking it a lot at first too. I don't know why I overthought it. Okay, well, uh, we got here. Weird tales. The devil plant. <gasps> That's what's enshrouding the other the enemies. Well, this looks like a lovely place. Doesn't it? Is this a... a 
How far have we got? I don't even know how many chapters there is in this game. We're in the middle of the second. Emily deserved a sense of triumph, but she was too on edge to appreciate her success. Yeah. There was no reasonable explanation why the talisman let her open up this other world. Yeah, there was no was reasonable really explanation. Happened, or was this somehow all in her mind? There was no time to question her own sanity. <laughs> she had to find Jeremy. If he was here, she thought, would she find Jeremy in the hateful mouth? Yeah. That's the question. Uh, uh, that I think we're going to be answering tomorrow. That took a really long time. Thanks anybody who fast traveled in the VOD from, uh, or, or on the YouTube from, for, from the puzzle. We solved the puzzle and we got here. And uh, now before we continue, we got to sleep, I think. I don't know how long this area will be. But like last time it took us a while to go through the, the... Saying the knee. I've been lurking tonight. Bloom, thank you so much for lurking. And thank you for 11 months of being subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope you are having a good evening and that the lurk has been fine. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, I've been... Uh, um, I had some tech issues earlier tonight. So we were going to start earlier. We started like an hour later than when I was ready. Or more than that, because I got take take issues. Yay! Um, however, I think uh, this is a good place for us to, uh, to, to wrap it up. Because it is so late, I do gotta eat. I need to be up early tomorrow um, and uh, do some stuff before stream as well. So I think uh, this will have to be it. Uh, sadly, I would love to continue. This game is so good. I think this is awesome. We have manual save. Hmm. I can't. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we're exploring. How did you save, Erlish? How did you end your playthrough here? I can't save. Autosave. Five minutes ago, when we entered here. Can I rely on an autosave, though? The very first survival horror, horror holds up. Yes, so far, this is great. I don't know how to... Oh, I cannot... Do we have to continue? How am I gonna... How... how when I... It, do I have to go down, maybe? Surely they must let you save at some point here. You, you don't say that you have to do... Oh, you jumped down here? Ah, now it auto-saved. And now I can save. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Okay, empty slot. Who you? The hateful mound. Yay, that sounds so friendly. Yeah, look. 5 a.m. on this clock. Very late. I need to go to bed. I need to eat. I need to prepare for meeting uh, the parents tomorrow. We have to play it. Yeah, we have to play it the very end. I'm just very grateful that I, uh, or happy that I managed to figure out the puzzle finally. <laughs> Yay! Um, and uh, I'm excited. Like, I would continue. Chat, I'm having so much fun. This game is so cool. I would continue for sure. Had it not been that it's so late now. And um, that I like already, I already started, I already started too late and, and uh, everything. So I'm a little sad, I'm a little sad about that. But uh, you know, we are uh, gonna be happy that we got to experience this game so far because this is such a cool game. I'm so happy we're playing it. I'm uh, so excited to continue it we're gonna continue it tomorrow so uh if you want to see the continuation join us then for sunday stream hopefully i will be live a little earlier uh or like on the time that i thought i would be live today um yeah fun right serpentine thanks for hanging out um i think uh, i think it's been really nice 
Uh, this game is so... Yeah, if the tech allows it. Oh, gosh. Hopefully tech allows me to be live on time and everything tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed. I'll be live and continue that at any point anyway. This is so cool. I can't wait to see how it continues. We're going to continue playing uh, tomorrow. And then I don't know how long it takes to beat the game. Uh, we are going to also play, of course, as uh, Mr. Barnaby. Barnaby. Barn Barney. Barney? Barky B. Him. The other one. That guy. Um, we're going to do a playthrough of that, of course, as well. So that we can get the full... Uh, the full experience of the game. Close enough. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. Thank you for being here, chat. Let's go on a raid before we go to bed. Um, before we go to bed and go eat, we're going to go on a raid. Let's go raid uh, the wonderful... The wonderful... Hey. Who's play, playing Pinarense Speech Showtime? Let's go right there. Uh, we haven't been there in a while. The A E X. Oh, that should be it. It's out already? I guess so. Uh, oh, thank you for my care. I used my home screen keyboard. <laughs> um, thanks so much for being here, everybody. Thank you. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to solve those dang puzzles, but. That's what we get when we're playing a game live and unedited vote on YouTube. Thank you. Shout out to anybody who's watching on YouTube. Um, thanks so much. This was great. I'm so stoked to continue watching, uh, watching, playing this more and watch it unfold. Um, thank you for being here chatting tonight. Thank you for sitting on your hands when I know you were tearing your hair out when I was solving puzzles. Um, thank you for lurking if you've been lurking. Thank you for chatting if you've been chatting. Thank you for mods for molding. Yeah, check out this uh, the, if you want to take the votes for this. I think uh, this probably will go up tomorrow on YouTube. So I'll just toss it up immediately after stream and then make a thumbnail and publish it tomorrow. So if you're watching this on YouTube on the Sunday tomorrow, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I'll be continuing it tomorrow. Um, feel free to join us then. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Tell mom chat says hi. I will do so. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. Grab a red message. Let's go say hi today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your night, rest of your time zone, wherever you are. Thanks for hanging out with little me. Thank you. Kostwell, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'll see you again tomorrow. You know where to find me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.